the morning show with EVH. I'm Eric Von Hessler. Look who made it in today. Autumn. Hello. Autumn Fisher is here. <laughs> and right next to Autumn Fisher is Michael Albanese. Your... Good morning. I like the jacket. We'll get into that Thank in a you. moment. We will. I okay. did. Well, there's a lot more to cover there, for sure. Uh, <laughs> it's covering a lot right now. I got <laughs> man tits. I hope we don't spend the show talking about his jacket. I hope we oh, do. I, <laughs> his, I, I'll tell you, last time we spoke about Michael's life, and he was telling us what he ate. I almost fell asleep. <laughs> I was gonna when quit. did we talk about that? He's I was going to quit. He's going he's gonna to tell us about the buying the jacket. You, you <laughs> leave the program directing to me, sir. I didn't, I didn't get rid of the rest of my corporate over, over, overlords to be uh, lorded over Here's by the you. Thing with the if technical I want to talk guy, about the his guy, diet. You need the technical guy. I walk out now. What's going to happen? I'm screwed. Yes. I'm screwed, and you know that. That's Aww. like every engineer in radio knows that. I don't know if you noticed this. I, I would say that the exception in my entire career was the engineer at Cumulus, Mark. He is a good guy, a human being, somebody you could imagine doing things with. But that guy aside, just about every engineer I've ever known in radio, they walk around with this really, really smug thing going on, and they're jerks to everybody because they know, hey, you might be the star, and you might make more money than me, but uh, without me, your, your, your voice isn't getting out there. They walk around, and they know that they're the only people in a radio station that actually understand how the voices get from that studio to the cars. No one else has that understanding. And so they walk around with that attitude, like, well, okay, I can walk out, so, and uh, you won't have a career. How with about that, that? With that being said, no jacket story. <laughs> None. Just for the record, I had no idea that we were going to have a jacket story today. So, Well, look. I'm, put all this on Eric, please. Thank you. I, I already have a name for today's show. <laughs> Michael's jacket. So we're doing it. Michael's morning jacket. <laughs> Michael's guys. morning jacket. How, look, that's such a great name that we have to at least bring it up. Uh, Greg Russ is the guy who's starting things off very cantankerously and challenging my authority. It's nothing new. It's nothing new. <laughs> Are all of our cameras working this time? Is everything up and running? As of now, they're working. Yesterday was a pain in the ass as far as just Kremlins. Right. You know, after you guys left, the. Uh, uh, the, the live 365 kept going down. I couldn't, you know, yesterday's show, Some in some places where you get yesterday's show, there's like 12 minutes beforehand where we're just sitting around talking before the show starts. Uh. There's a lot of gremlins yesterday, and so... I'm looking for a better one today. It was icy. Yeah, it was icy. It was snowy. That's 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 what I'm blaming. I the, wasn't here. You weren't here. My magic. Um, you're uh, having a bad uh, pregnancy day. I can see. Yeah, I'm having a. <laughs> you can see. I, you well, see. no. I, she, what well, a, I've what been, a gentle uh, way of saying that. <laughs> what I'm saying is that since she walked in, she's yeah. been uh, moaning and groaning and she's complaining about her pants. Yeah, my pants are. So I put these pants aside and I said, okay, I can't wear these anymore. They're too tight. Like even when they're unbuttoned and undone, they're uncomfortable. I can't wear them anymore. Even when they're not on, they are just yeah, uncomfortable. Yeah, exactly. when they're not on properly, they're <laughs> they still look at them. terrible. They constrict. So, but I just like them so much, yeah. and they fit down on my feet. They're not too long, and I like their shape on my legs. So I took them back out today, and it's a mistake because, like, the zipper. Why don't you stand up and let people see? You're yeah. gonna see my underwear a little bit. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Well, it's open. pregnancy underwear. So this is like. What's this, this band? You yeah. Can't, you can't... You can't see it? No. You're, that, come on. People need to see this. I don't know. There's a band here that you wear, like, yeah. over your pants, but my pants are all the way undone. Here's my belly. Oh. <laughs> say it again. Whoa, whoa. Oh, ow. Oh, it's enough. There, I know there's ow. one creep out there, and I don't want to... I don't want him to have the pleasure. I don't want him to have the pleasure of this. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh. They're super... And, like, they're okay if I'm standing, but when I sit down, they're super tight. Yeah. Are, are you able to, so you don't zip them up then, right? No, I can't. You're sitting there like a... Just you, out. Just you know, I have the same problem with my pants, and I'm not even pregnant. Yeah. I know. And I could show. <laughs> they show get it. tighter. The older I get, the tighter my pants get. Not because I'm well, getting fatter, because the pants are getting smaller. So maybe well, I'm trying to be cool now. That's because you're doing the skinny... In my old age. And, you're doing the skinny yeah. jean thing, which you don't admit to, but I've noticed in the last year or two, when I see you, it's the skinny jean thing. They're and not skinny jeans. Look at the bottom. They're uh, small. You, you tell skinny jeans by the ankles, and those things come down, and they just like right on his well, ankles. Then what are That's, these then? These are skinny jeans. Yeah, you're this probably in the skinnies. I have giant legs too, so most pants are skinny jeans to me anyway. Yeah, yeah. I mean, these are stretch. He's got the hipster thing going. You know, he lives in Greenwich Village, and you know, he's no, got he's a not walk a hipster. Yeah, the hipster he's in the 1960s and 70s. It's not hip anymore. Uh, no, he's not a hipster. He would look way different if he had a hipster. He would have like a. Curly Q mustache. No, you have to go all the way. He's a bowler a, hat. Or let something. me ask you this: You don't think you could you could see Greg in a men's warehouse ad walking down the street with his little? Uh, but you consider That's men's warehouse? Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> hold on, is, hold on, hold on. Men's warehouse. Yourself. Men's warehouse has some new ads this last year or so where they're featuring hipsters 
in uh, like New York City, and I can see Greg in in those ads. <laughs> Men's warehouse isn't stupid, Mike. They gotta get they gotta keep up. If I were the a only hipster, people buying suits anymore are hipsters. If, if if I'm a hipster, being in a men's warehouse ad would kill my credibility and I'd be done. So. It's, it's, the minute Men's finished. Warehouse does hipster ads is the minute you know hipsters are dead. <laughs> hipsters were dead before they started. Maybe like, we should, we'll take a picture of Greg after the show and put a vote. We can, people can vote or ah, something vote. on Facebook. We haven't had an internet poll yet. Yeah. It's like when you see a First child trip. walking around like a, a 15 year old walking around with a Red Bull. You're like, all right, I'm done drinking Red Bull. <laughs> Get out of here. Men's with, Warehouse with your, your dumb wolf man. With uh, the voting, person. you're going to put up yes or no, right? It's not, no write-in votes. I don't want people writing asshole yeah. in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, don't worry. They have the forums to do that. I think. Yeah, I think you're, what you're saying is get, get rid of comments. No you want to not allow anybody yeah, to I comment don't want on. The no, it'll just be yes, no. <laughs> you're in show business, Greg. You got to put up with the fact that people are from time to time going to uh, say that you suck. That's part of the game. No, it'll be it'll right, be... Michael. It's part of the game. Absolutely. I had a couple of haters last night. Oh yeah, so what happened? Where were you in Columbus, Georgia? I was in Columbus at the Loft. Beautiful venue. Yeah, it's an awesome place. Uh, you know, but. It was a military town, and mm. I might have made the mistake of making oh. a military town. Did you joke. go anti-American? No, not at all. I know you're not anti-American, but it's a comedy thing. Did you go a little... No, it, well, it was it was just one guy in particular, and he wasn't really much of like... He wasn't like an asshole or anything, but he... At the end of the show, he came up to me. I was standing outside uh, the venue, and he's like, Hey, man. And he was clearly wasted. He's like, Hey, man. I was saying you a good show, man. You're funny. I was like, oh, cool. And I reached in my pocket. I was like, I have business cards. That, you know, people can follow me. and mm -hmm. That way they can. You know, on. Oh, very nice. Yeah. We and didn't do that back when I was doing stand-up. Really? It's very cool. It's a smart idea. Mine are, uh, they look like baseball cards. Okay. I made for myself. Uh, so so there's a reason. throw them away less. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, that's a, good, that's a good idea. But as, a, as he was telling me, man, you're so funny, man. I was like, oh, cool. Let me give you a card. He's like, nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, well, you, you can... You because can. he's already friends with you on Facebook. No, he's better. not. Yeah. And then he kept asking me, he's like, I'm coming to Atlanta, dude. What's in Little Five Points? He kept asking me what was it like, what restaurants. Yeah. To, and I'm like, I don't know, man, go to the Porter. That's a great place. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't want to go to just any restaurant. I was like, D I don't care. Just you're really, you're stop right. talking to me now. We're done. <laughs> We're done here. And he <laughs> just wouldn't st he wouldn't leave me alone. He wanted like a travel guide that you'd written, not No, I'm just card. picking up this girl, and she, we're going out. I wouldn't have takeout. I'm like, well, order Chinese food. Yeah. What do you want me to tell yeah. you? I'm yeah. not a freaking tour guide. First of all, you were a jerk oh, while I was on stage, and now you're boring the hell out of me with back backstage yeah, really. conversation. <laughs> you dummy. Um, so, but overall, it went well? Did you yeah, get the it money? was awesome. Did you get the money? Yeah, I got paid. Everything went well. It Everything was weird. good. They, uh, they, they get paid me in a check, and then they handed me the check, and then the, the, the manager, who was a really good guy, he, he takes it back from me, and he goes, I can cash it if you want. I was like, why didn't you just give me cash to begin with? Why? He just like, handed me a check. Uh, and well, it was yeah, some weird scammy this thing. weird like kind of, yes, yeah. I wrote a check, and well, And now whatever. I'm going to cash it. When you're dealing with clubs, that's the way it's going to be. It's always, uh, you know, yeah, it's hard to keep them going. It was not, I mean, I was, I'm not complaining. It was weird. I was like, all right, I'll play cash. Sure, I don't care. I'll sign whatever you want me to sign. Best thing ever. Uh, <laughs> I don't have tell any me. credit. What, what, what are you going to screw up? I'd probably, <laughs> I'd probably, yeah, it's going to hurt you. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Ding my credit, Amex. You can't give it Somewhere around like 2000, 2001. Remember when I was doing stand-up over at the uh, Funny Farm or whatever it was called? Was it called the Funny Farm? The one called? that was in the arcade? Yeah. Oh, yes. right, right, yeah. right. And I didn't farm. want, because when I stopped doing stand-up in 92 or 93 or something, St. Louis, Missouri, I remember the week. I remember where I was. I was at, uh, I think it was Funny Bone or might have been Catch a Ride. I don't know, wh whichever, in that train station, whatever, in St. Louis. And uh, not train station, but their the big depot thing, thing. Big yeah. depot. Um, and I remember quitting there, and I thought, that's it. I'm done. I was on stage. I was boring myself. I said, okay, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not into it anymore. And I thought, I'll never do this again. And a few times when we started going with the regular guys, comedy clubs would come and say, hey, if you come, we hear you used to do comedy. You can do whatever. We'll pay you whatever. And I said, no, 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 no. And then those guys came along, and they offered to pay me $500 to just show up, say hello to the audience, and introduce the MC. Yeah. I didn't even have to stay for the whole damn show. And so, and it was right down the street. A couple of the best Fridays of my life is, so the show starts at 8.30. I would leave here at 8, drive down there, walk through the kitchen. By the time I got there, it was about time for showtime. Lights went out. I would go on stage, do about 10 minutes, introduce the MC. And one time I was back home by 8.55. And they would give me cash. That's beautiful. So I would walk off the stage, get $500 of cash. And it, I did that for weeks. And I just had a drawer at my house that I kept throwing all the cash <laughs> into. And it Man. ended up just being thousands of dollars that are long since gone with all of my other money. But I have a drawer very similar to that, but it's filled with coins. <laughs> 
This is for you, glory days. That's right. <laughs> Reminiscing oh, about they the, used to pay me. the good they old times. They used to pay me just to show up, people. I was like Paris Hilton. They hey, just wanted me hey, at the party. Hold on. <laughs> Except for I don't want to bang Eric. <laughs> this line, this line annoys me. I know. I, I... So he's a right, baseball make you look like a fool. Make you look like a fool, but a speedball. That's a fastball. I know. Speedball is completely different. It's a yeah. different realm. It's drugs. It's drugs. And here's a baseball player. You can tell that Bruce Springsteen the... is a guy who's trying to pretend that he understands baseball. He's like, he can throw that speedball by you. And it's not yeah. like there's no to be manipulated ball. for syllables to fit. No, he could have said fastball. Yes. He could throw that fastball <laughs> by you. you know, there's no reason other than the fact that, you know, He's it's like it's like uh, maybe it's a guys who, effeminate guys try to explain football. Maybe it's a drug song. Maybe it's secretly a drug. It's all With Springsteen. Oh, oh he didn't want to admit that he was uh, yeah. doing speedballs back in the glory days. Exactly. Remember those days when we used to get super high on speedballs? What did you guys that's used to do speed that's together? <laughs> no, that's what he's saying. He's writing about that. Those are the glory days. That's Springsteen. Right. So things must have gotten really bad if your glory days when yeah. you. Oh, remember? Oh, when remember, we were at, out? remember when we were at the bottom? Oh, it was yeah. great. <laughs> It's not the bottom until it's hey, really the bottom. They quit on the bottom. Springsteen should do more drugs. He used to get a little psychedelic. He's so like he's so uh, you know. Did he do I drugs? Was, I was thinking about this the other day, and I was thinking about my dad. And then I drove my motorcycle <laughs> to the edge of town. My dad told I me. I think about I think about being blue collar. Yet I've lived in a mansion for <laughs> yeah. twenty five goddamn years. <laughs> yeah. I live on the complete opposite side of Jersey now. Yeah, how it's about, called New York. Yeah, how about this guy oh, was geez. glory days is what he wasn't a millionaire. Not a, He stayed in the Jersey Shore, though. He tried. No, I, I read a I read an article once where they were asking about that exactly that, and he was being pretty honest about it. He said it's ridiculous, you know. But I'm I'm a human being, and I'm just like everybody else. And once I could build a fence, I wanted to build it as high as I possibly oh, could. So and he's he, only and he, human. And he said uh, he said they asked him about not living in New Jersey. It's a quote that always stayed with me. I thought it was great. He said if he lived in New Jersey, it'd be like Santa Claus living in the North Pole. You know, like everybody who went to New Jersey would be at his house, you know, right, constantly. Right. So I'm he wouldn't be able to move around. You know, you don't think. Fame can be annoying when it's on that Tell level. me about it. Uh-huh. I'm telling you, pal. I mean, Bruce Springsteen would never be able to walk out of his house and do it. That's what I don't understand about Alec Baldwin. Why doesn't he just move to Montana? A lot of celebrities move, get into a smaller place. Alec Baldwin lives in Manhattan, and he's surprised that every time he walks out of his house, there's paparazzi there while he goes to the store, and walks his stupid dogs, you know. Why doesn't he just, if he hates the paparazzi so much, they're not going to follow him to Missouri or Montana or even Nevada. It's probably. for the principal, maybe. Maybe he's just staying oh. there to say, "You shouldn't be doing this." See, this gets me into the princess. You know? This is why I couldn't stand about Princess Die. Oh yeah, that silly bitch. Whoa! Because what? language they uh silly bitch. <laughs> well, that's kind of fun. She's a silly bitch. That could be a good thing. Yeah, I feel like that's um, not a insult. Maybe you know she didn't want the paparazzi. You silly bitch. I don't want the fame. <laughs> but the thing about these celebrities is Alec Baldwin doesn't want the paparazzi. He doesn't want the fame. Until he's got another movie coming out. Then he wants to walk out of his house and say, okay, now, as well, a control freak, I would like to say that now you you're can bother the, me. You're talking about the paparazzi versus fans. I mean, fa I'm sure no. he's not being bombarded with people who are want his autograph and want to have a picture. But paparazzi's no. terrible. How do you stay famous? We you stay in the public eye. Yeah, but a paparazzi if, if, if paparazzi is different than someone who's a fan coming up to you. Yeah, no, right, because okay. paparazzi actually help you with your career by no, keeping you in the public no, eye. No, they take your picture and they say, Alec okay. Baldwin's getting fat. How much? Like we're all talking about the paparazzi, like we have any I know, idea I know. what we're I, talking I, about. But, but my, no, this is what they do. Well, well, I talk about, World, never, War, I talk about <laughs> World War II. I wasn't there. The most paparazzi <laughs> I've ever had was in high school, and they're just taking my picture against a... <laughs> <laughs> stonewashed <laughs> background <laughs> there's a principled thing to this and what I'm trying to say is that if you, you can't be a control freak as an actor or a celebrity and say now because I've got a movie coming out in three weeks all the cameras all the questions all the paparazzi everything Princess Di can't say well when I'm talking about landmines I want all your cameras on but when I'm not talking about landmines I don't it's not that you're either somebody who's famous and once you're famous guess what if you're a plumber there's a lot of crappy things that come with that job too <laughs> crappy uh, Paparazzi, <laughs> paparazzi is maybe annoying if you're a celebrity, but you're also a freaking multimillionaire. It comes to the territory. It's not just annoying. You, right? you, boy, you're watching too much extra. You're really buying into these people. Not, <laughs> extra is the paparazzi. <laughs> Why would saying. I be on their side? Yeah, but they I'm pretend. against them. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, the opposite of TMZ, though. They, extra 
kisses up to all the celebrities, whereas TMZ. Well, TMZ, they're their own stars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're that guy. The, that blonde the main, guy? Yeah. TMZ is the only thing that makes me feel bad for celebrities because you just you can't go. win. They start talking about it. If, you, if you're <laughs> nice to them, they're like, oh, look who wants some camera time. And if yeah. you're a dick to them, yeah. they're like, look at this rage. And yeah. it's just, you can't win with that crowd. So TMZ that means it comes has to territory. T- they have a tour bus now in New York City, TMZ. And I don't know what sites – they're taking you to see where like Lady Gaga urinated on the yeah. sidewalk. I don't. What, what is there to go see with a TMZ tour bus? You can pretty much go anywhere on that bus. I think it'd be scary. Sca- all over town. I think that they probably saw that there's a there's money in scandal tours, and mm. why who better than to put our brand on something like that? This is where Absolutely. Philip Seymour Hoffman exactly. died. That's yes. exactly what I was gonna say. Uh, it's uh, get out and pose in front of the building. I hear that's a good gig for comics though. They get hired to be the tour guides because they can just basically bust balls. <laughs> <laughs> you got to know your audience, right? But I mean, absolutely. Um, you can't, you know. Like, I take that. You yeah. kidding me? Oh, that's a fantastic job. As long as you don't get car sick. Huh? Yeah. As long as you don't mind driving, <laughs> like being facing the wrong way driving. <laughs> I would, and comedians are are used to repeating material too. It's for me. I think it would be hard to be on a, one of these tour people and every, and you know get interested. I've gone on some right. tours, and I think to myself, that guy acted like it was his first time ever. Like, like he acted like he's still really interested in this stuff, and he's probably been giving this tour for three, yeah. four, five years. That's a, a special talent to pretend that you're interested in something. No, uh, you, Greg does it every day here. That's why you do drugs. <laughs> drugs keep yeah. it interesting. You know, you, there's always something a little bit different that you see or that you find, or someone asks a question. Oh, or... You ever get on like the Jaws ride at Universal? No. Only every day when I lived in Florida. <laughs> so you get on that boat, and the guy is yeah. doing the boat, and he's the tour guide, and he's like, he's. But that's he, a performance. That's it's a, little a performance. Bit I know, but I mean, it's a performance that you do three billion times. No, I so hear that. Here it comes. Is, oh my God! It is fun to watch, like in the middle of the afternoon, like in November when nobody's there. I used to live in Florida, and I had mm-hmm. like year passes to all those parks. Right. And they're just shooting Jaws, like, oh, it's a shark hacker. <laughs> <laughs> There's still those dummies from the Midwest, like, oh my God, it almost came out. Shut up. And there has to be those months where there's like one person in the boat, you got to put on the whole show. Yeah. You have to do it, though. <laughs> of course, you have yeah. to do it. It's, it's a show game, business. Right? You call it show business. Yeah, you have to go through with it. Exactly. Every single day. Yeah. So it's got to be more than three times a day. Oh, God. Yeah. He knows the exact it's number. Constant. Mm-hmm. It's like 28 times. <laughs> and he counts down. Yeah, he's at sure 18. He's marking it off yeah. on a sheet of paper. Yeah. The ride, only, yeah, like he's in prison. He's I, etch- <laughs> etching it on the boat. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually into his arms. And the blood's just pouring out. I mean, because the performance is what? The ride's like 15 minutes long, right? So you can do, yeah. you can do a lot of those in I a day. I got stuck on that ride once uh, <laughs> in one of the explosions. And we were right next. And like it, the ride oh. stopped. But the gas kept pouring out like oh, the fire. Oh. We were, it was far enough away to where we knew we weren't going to be in trouble, but it was also just this like glaring heat just coming at us. And I was like, this could get weird for a minute. Yeah. And then we got trapped again. There's a part where you go into like a a cavern or like a, yeah. a boathouse. Yeah. Like, I'm not good with I think words. you come in, you, you, you get on, cavern, you get on and off at the boathouse, don't you? Is well, it? yeah, but you go through, you're like escaping jaws and you go through right. and then we got stuck, trapped in there when it's completely dark, but it was, you could still hear all the noise, like the sound effects are still playing. <laughs> it's like, I'm actually kind of terrified right now. This is actually honest. exciting. I never thought it could happen on one of I these rides. I my girlfriend at the time. I was like, if we're going out, I do mm-hmm. not want to be next to you. <laughs> I've been trying to break up with you for months. You should have thrown her overboard. I basically did. The jaws could. But uh, I was walking down the aisle. Anyway, we, got, we can talk about that. Another oh, that was the one you almost <laughs> married. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's plenty to go that, go to there. Oh, I, um, what's I'm gonna say about the? Well, never mind. We got some news to do. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it news or is it our? Uh, our oh, you want me to do the Patreon, Patreon spot here? Oh, yeah. According Patreon. to today's show schedule. Okay, it's supposed to be Patreon. I put out that schedule this morning, so I should I should <laughs> adhere to it with uh, the credits. Uh, yeah, you, you, are you able to do that? Yeah, let's try it. Why don't you just run those names? Well, hold on. Let me, I'll tell you when to start running those names. Patreon.com is our site. <laughs> Do I? Come on, give me some. No, I love it. Please continue. At Patreon.com. Right. It's a plea for help, like those sad animals on TV. <laughs> Please don't hit me again. <laughs> I'm so money. hungry. The more you know about <laughs> Patreon.com, the more you will want to give to Eric Von Radio. We're uh, we're just getting started here. What is this? Our fourth show. I think we've had a, a grand role so far, uh, but we want to do more. We want to get into some permanent studios. We'd like to upgrade the HD quality. We'd like to upgrade the audio quality. We'd like to get a compressor, right? I mean, that'd be nice. We'd like to do things like that. Your peas would stop popping. My peas would stop popping if we had more money. Please, stop the peas. That should be the plea. Stop the peas. 
please. Please. <laughs> stop the please. That's our plea. Oh, you did it. Our Make plea, it stop the peas, exactly. please. And we can only do this sort of thing with better equipment we want to grow. Patreon.com is a website. Basically, their idea is there may be people out there who want to help you. And if there are... Um, Make it easy for them, and then that's exactly what they do. It's it's very easy. We are almost up to a thousand dollars a month from people We're on our fourth show, and uh, people have uh, committed to. I don't say pledged because I believe that when when you go to Patreon.com and you commit to ten dollars a month, you're now an investor. And I know an awful lot of people bitch and moan about corporate radio and what radio has become. My question is: Are you willing, and are you able? to invest $10 a month to try to do something about that. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to do uh, some fun stuff that I know that no program director in America would allow us to do. And Michael's got a filthy mouth, and we can't take that to radio radio. Whoa. And so we need more money here because it's, it shows funnier. We don't want to, we don't want to, uh, you take that badly, but what I'm saying is we don't want to, um, you guys are always doing something while I'm talking. It is kind of hard. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> They're looking Focus. at internet memes. <laughs> We're prepping. I get that. But we Jesus. show prep during the show. I look over to you, and it's like, maybe Michael will what look at me and us? say something. Well, I was, well, I was trying this to get This is your Patreon. Nice. This is your Patreon part. Jesus Christ, I'm trying to get people to give money. I can't even keep fucking interest in this room. <laughs> it's Ooh. gone. <laughs> the Patreon members are going to withdraw their money now. This show is not lasting. So here's the point. Four shows in, falling apart. Yeah, We're he's not on camera. Her. You're talking about Patreon. I do your thing. Yeah, well, I, well, we're all part of the same show. My Go to Patreon.com. Go to Patreon.com. <laughs> we'll roll, we'll roll the credits later. Anybody? No, we can do it here. We can do it here. Uh, anybody who gives... I'm going to start it now. Anybody who commits any amount of money at the different levels there will have their names in the closing credits of every show. If we get 500 people, we'll just have a long song every damn show, and you'll get to see your name. Right now, we have... Uh, some of the names. We've had a lot more since yesterday who aren't on here, and they'll be on tomorrow. But are you rolling those names over me as I'm speaking to you? Yes, they were rolling. Very good. I think they started halfway through, though. Well, then roll them again. This is not, these are people who are investors. It goes its own. It's they own. are in business with us. Jamie Evans. Yeah, great a one. Hero. Fantastic. Page Jeff Puckett. Look at that. Page 1585. Emily, Robert Pritz, you guys. Emily Robert Norton. Pritz. That's my dad. That is your dad. He just Boom. friend requested Okay, me. we're back. Yeah. <laughs> and also, we spelled hubbub music wrong. There's a second B in there. So we got to change that. But we've had actually more people join us since then, and that'll be reflected in the next one. So you just saw it, but you're also going to see it at the end of every show because we finally figured out how to do that. That's patreon.com. If you want to change radio, I want to change radio. We can work together. I'd like to go into business with you. Please invest. Patreon.com. Look for Eric Von Radio. Three words. It'll get you there. <laughs> All right, now that I've got your attention, Autumn, what's the Now I'll pay attention. It's Valentine's Day. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I wore a red shirt because it's Valentine's Day. Well, I wore this red thing because this is what I typically wear. And yes. every, this is my hoodie. I that wore I wear my Freddy Krueger sweater. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it has red stitching. There's so. a little red up there. Yep. I have Eric? no red. Underwear? Uh, red? No, no. Oh, you know me. Well, silk red boxers. Silk. Silk. Uh, <laughs> I was walking uh, down this. The, this what do you walk downstairs? Stairs. Yeah, thank you. See, that's why I need you to yes. finish my sentences. So I'm walking downstairs today, and then I see my wife, and she says, it's Valentine's Day. And I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. uh -oh. um, <laughs> yes, it, as a matter of fact, it is the 14th, the 14th of February. And because I'm used to working in the morning, and ah. so because I'm usually out of the house for the last few years by 4.30 in the morning on Valentine's Day, when I'm driving home at 11.30, I'm like, oh, I better stop at Kroger, get some balloons, get some roses <laughs> and then i just kind of show up with them but now it's the first time and, and you know with the storm and everything i haven't been able to Ooh. go out and, well, and get stuff so i think thing. you've only been out twice since you've been let go from your job <laughs> i bet uh, three you don't or four really times leave the house. i don't leave the house he I does know. though sometimes because chick-fil-a doesn't deliver that's right that's right so not that's yet though but <laughs> patreon.com <laughs> 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 no, Chick Fil A. If Chick Fil A delivered, then I would never have been out of the house. Absolutely. Probably in the last three and a half months. <laughs> well, you're lucky uh, that you're not prepared because fa uh, um, Valentine's Day is canceled. <laughs> oh, look at that! So oh, I saw uh, the story. There are some stupid sheriff. All right, that's editorializing right there. <laughs> is that? Do you need to say stupid before you say sheriff? Come on. Uh, in Oconee County, uh, sheriff's office have announced that Valentine's Day has been canceled. From I-16, 
the in Georgia to the Tennessee border. And I guess maybe it's that's it's his expanded. jurisdiction. Yeah, 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 it's expanded now um, because it's not safe for drivers to get on the road and prepare. I guess the day before Thursday and Wednesday to. So does he have the power to cancel Valentine? <laughs> Apparently, just a, who just knew that they had the authority? The rubric, the they're in, char- they're in charge of uh, the the lieutenants, mm-hmm. the st- ground patrols, uh, police officers. And uh, national holidays. Yeah. I didn't know if you knew that. Sheriff's I didn't Department. know. I, I, so it's a countywide uh, deal there. Are sheriffs county? Probably. Yeah. Can, I'm sure they can sheriff. be. Mm-hmm. I yeah. think it's smart, though, because he doesn't want to deal with the domestic disputes if people can't get out to go get the stuff and they're going to have to fight right. it. Right. Really so you it's can his point. laziness. That's right. He doesn't care about the safety. It's right. the laziness of his, his crew. He doesn't want them having to go out. You're able to go, well, honey, it's been canceled. It's probably a – it was – a good tongue the sheriff cheek says, way. The sheriff says it's yeah, canceled. Honey. That's not on me. It's against the I law. I wanted to go out. It's, it's against, against the, law. the law for me to show you love today. But the problem is, is that women don't necessarily care about what... Well, I mean, a lot of women don't Liar. care about... <laughs> 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 it's about effort, right? It's about... Yeah, we don't it's care about, about it. It's just about the amount of effort you put into it. It's and true. It better be quite Women would rather have you like make a dinner and a picnic and like All take you like out, and me. it's a pain it's in the work. ass for you. It's work. It's right, and that's there's what we want. There's nothing more. There's there's <laughs> nothing that is harder on a, on me than the concept of a picnic. Did you just did not, did you <laughs> let's just, pick up all of our stuff from here, take it into the woods? Yeah, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Exactly. That's why it's a it's a pain in the ass for you. So we feel like you've done so much for us. Like you've gone above and beyond to do something for us. So we well, appreciate I think busting it your more. ass for years and years no, and years and not, keeping that's the lights how a man on. Works. Yeah, that's I mean, that's, that's doing something. Can, can I translate what you just said? You said sure. women don't care about Valentine's Day necessarily. We yeah. just wanted to make sure that you're miserable on that. That's yes. right. That's right. We just want to see a lot of effort and see you do things that make you suck at everything and just to show us how much you care about what us. is that voice you're doing you is that a gay man slash voice? girls <laughs> no you, you first of all that's racist all gay men don't sound like that racist. Yeah. yeah very racist yes. <laughs> gay is a race now yeah. i don't know if you knew that and hopefully we can erase hate well, okay. oh! wow it's gaysist nice save just keep just keep I was going walking off the edge there hey somebody in the chat room says i-16 doesn't go to tennessee you've been busted i don't know it's the from in georgia right. you know what from the, <laughs> who cares about that part of the state <laughs> is that who the oconee cares? sheriff is that the sheriff from oconee talking so about? somebody else said they like it when autumn says dirty words i saw that yes so, so. that was oh. ramey what did ramey? i say huh what word did i say that was dirty? You, you said valentine's day oh dirty it's disgusting yeah uh, you have until February 18th uh, due to ice, snow, and freezing rain. So There's enjoy a deadline your break. Still. Yep. <laughs> it, it There's, oh, yeah, it's still going to happen, but yeah. it's going to be when the sun is out. Yep. So you have until February 18th, so good luck with that. Was it bad this morning when you guys came in, or is it pretty much done? It was terrible. That's why I was late. Well, yeah. You were <laughs> late because you're making love to all hours of the night. We know what's I happening I slept with last you. night. Thank you very much. Mm. I was on time, and I drove from a different county. Oh, you drove from Columbus. I drove two right, hours exactly. To be here. Yeah. So the I take it the roads. If the roads were that They're bad, fine. you wouldn't have gotten here from They're Columbus. Fine. So. My son had the day off again today from school. That's crazy. That's insanity. I think they yeah. thought it was going to freeze again overnight, and that right. that would be a problem. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? You're off all week. Why go to school on Friday? <laughs> what, 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 what are they really going to get done? I don't see him getting any dumber. I mean, he's basically as intelligent today as he was on Tuesday. So he hasn't like, really lost anything. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go out and. Get my. I do the same thing every year. When you talk about effort, I go to Kroger, and I get a card. Even Publix. Yeah. I get Kroger. Well, Kroger's closer. Closer. I think Ingles. Is there an Ingles <laughs> around? Let's just make it as terrible as possible. Yeah, Publix is a little bit fancier. Uh, well, I just, Kroger is closer, so I go to Kroger and I get uh, some sort of inflatable balloony thing. Balloon. Yeah. yeah. Who wants a balloon? A <laughs> seven-year-old. Well, yeah, it looks. It looks nice. It looks nice in there. Uh-huh. He's high, we have high ceilings, and it looks really like. A, He's getting two balloons love. so they can both suck the helium out <laughs> yeah. and have a party. <laughs> I get uh, some flowers. Well, that's good. And I get some chocolate. Yeah. And uh, I was, my wife this morning said, ah, you always do the right thing, which is, you know, she likes Didn't chocolates. Did you make sweet love? Sweet love. No, I will not make Slow, love on Valentine's Day. It's, just, it's like the world is commanding me to, and I say, no, I'm not going to do that. It no. has to be the next so far, day. If there's one day a year we don't have, make love, it's Valentine's what Day. What we've established with this show so far, unfortunately, is you just don't have sex with your wife. Well, it's always like, I don't ever have sex with her. Well, when oh, she, yeah, was she was pregnant. pregnant. When she was, Valentine's that was, Day. That was, uh, it's President's Day. Soon, I'm not going to do that. I have to think about the presidents. I have to think about the presidents. You're, you're about really the presidents. selling this marriage thing to, to the two over here that don't want to get married. Being married is fantastic if you marry the right person. Well, maybe Who that doesn't person mind if I didn't make, I, we doesn't didn't make love. the same generic Russell Stover <laughs> chocolates every year. All coconut. It's the all coconut package. 
<laughs> it's they on sale. Have, they should have. Nobody this, wants it. It's on sale. On the lid, they should have like how they describe what what each chocolate is. What they should just have like one of those terrible ones. Like throw this one away. Throw yeah. this yeah. away. Take one bite, oh, spit it out. Back. I love that. This is what I do. This is going to have that, that weird pink stuff in the middle. <laughs> oh, that's like really gooey. Like what you can't that? bite it. Ha yeah, ha, was... you thought this was peanut butter. Not a chance. Like... I like to do lots of weird stuff with my chocolates for Valentine's. Like I like to take a bite and if it's really good, then I'll take, I'll just leave one bite mm-hmm. so that I keep it for later. And if I don't like it, I'll also take one bite, but I might like eat the outside of the chocolate off. It's a big weird like ocd man you have a, wait, you, you, you eat have the a, chocolate off from around the yeah, middle like, so stuff like that pink one that's yeah. like th- you bite into it you can't really get into it it's yeah. so hard i don't even know what it is you're such you a eat rock the star chocolate around it, mm-hmm. it like show us again we have a, clo- we have a camera on her eating <laughs> like a little chocolate squirrel around it. Uh, she used to have a blog where she did eight chocolates in the shower yeah <laughs> oh it's great it's great and then she reviewed them chocolate i believe chug. <laughs> <laughs> why All right, is, why so. is a Mr. Goodbar not acceptable as a chocolate to give on Valentine's? It's got to be Whitman's. Yeah. Hey, I got you a Twix. That's not going to go over. <laughs> well, if you ever saw the movie Looking for Mr. Goodbar, they might not want to get that. It would remind them of that. I don't know if you've ever seen the final scene on that one, but it's uh, quite I, shocking. I just go by, I just don't have a girlfriend on Valentine's. That's my, that's my Valentine's Day present to myself. So you probably do get laid. No, I just <laughs> masturbate furiously. <laughs> well, you love yourself. But what's different than that any yeah. other day? What's wrong with right? that? <laughs> I refuse to make love on uh, Valentine's Day, and I'm going to stand by that. because. It's, what about uh, Arbor Day? I don't care. About, yeah, I told you yesterday, too many trees. But I'll, when Flag yeah. Day comes, woo, oh, it's man. out. That's, that's patriotic sex right <laughs> there. I mean, we're getting on <laughs> in the name flag of... Uh, day. Flag Day. Flag, yeah, not... <laughs> I said something else. In my younger experimental years, perhaps. <laughs> what else is in the news? Well, do you want some more Valentine's Day stuff? I would, you know, can you, you can't get enough. It's Valentine's uh, it's Day. It's true. It's Valentine's Well, it's not technically because it's canceled. But anyway. Only till 10, uh, well, wherever I-16 doesn't take here, you. It's, it's, it's still going on. <laughs> so uh, Facebook has uh, taken a bunch of data from users 21 and over in a one-month time frame to sort of give you some facts and some data on uh different places in the country that are it's about love yeah like a, a percentage of single people um the top five uh largest popular uh, uh, just give sorry. us a stat <laughs> i don't need to know the whole damn you know overview of the article relationships uh, with single people single females per single male right. well the, give me the stat what's right, well, so who what where number one uh, in, is detroit is the um what? percentage of single people there's more single yeah, people because in they're detroit. the homeless no, you're reading that wrong. <laughs> but you're the one below that, that is L.A. You're reading that wrong. No. It's Detroit has a single person. <laughs> That's uh. right. <laughs> the, only, the only city with a single person is Detroit. <laughs> and then L.A. is number two, which I thought was surprising. Uh, wasn't San Francisco up there? A high on one of them. Said, oh, uh, the, the, one of the, the stats that comes yeah. from that story. The most has, single males per single female. Right, so women go to San Francisco, but aren't that, isn't that because there's a lot, I mean, not in any kind of joking Mm -hmm. way, I mean, it's a large gay population, wouldn't that make a lot more in just aggregate single males? What? I mean, you just start and be married. So I mean, it's like if you're if you're gay, you're most likely considered. They don't single. consider. They, maybe they don't consider themselves single. Maybe they're in relationships. Well, they might, but they might not. You know, I mean, yeah, so I'm I'm just saying that I think that it's kind of skewed because women go to San Francisco if they want to get a boyfriend, and that's probably true because there are a lot of guys available. But people I just go think to, women say, go to San Francisco to yes, get a boyfriend. That's what I'm saying. I'm that's who's traveling I, to get a. I gotta go to. San you would Francisco. be surprised. It's a gold mine. You out would there. be surprised. A lot of women leave cities they live in if they can't find somebody to marry or or settle down with that's one of the reasons that women, women move not just jobs and, and things like that san francisco i'd never have thought it's like, a beautiful city yeah but oh, and if you're heterosexual you got all the heterosexual men to yourself so it's probably a good ground. women women in san francisco need to move to detroit and then that will change the the dynamic of detroit yeah and we'll fix it yeah well we just yeah. figured it'll it out. also end their lives if they move to detroit <laughs> yeah. so stay away yeah maybe hey only like only most likely yeah, there's a chance they'll live. Just play the odds. Right. But the probability of relationship formation, uh, the number one is Colorado Springs. Co- really? For some oh, reason. Oh, you know why? Because they're probably conservative. <laughs> no, I mean, you always... I love your theory. No, I, my theories are correct. Any place where relationships or marriages last longer yeah. is usually more conservative, and that could be well, bad. Well, this is just the formation of a relationship. This doesn't mean that they're still together or that I think another happy. stat, though, on there is the, about Colorado and, and some of, like Texas and places like that. Where, um, yeah, if you, well, this makes sense though. Every time I say something, you just like shirk, but this makes sense. If people are more Mm -hmm. Bible oriented and conservative, they're more likely to stick through bad relationships because I think God wants them to. Hmm. The rest of us, if things aren't going well, we're like, oh, the hell with it. You know, we don't, 
Well, they well, stick. I want to live this life. They stick in them. They just cheat. Right. Yeah. You're not going to reveal that if like, if you if you survey a guy and he says, "Well, I've been married 42 years. He might have 32 mistresses. You don't know what's going on in reality." <laughs> These God things are wants all me stupid. to stay in this relationship. <laughs> I've right. got to stay. Yeah. Stick so what's around. what's next? I'm tired of Valentine's Day. Sure. Uh, well, let's see. Al Roker has uh, a lot to say. <laughs> he is really talking about uh, all of oh. the snow situation that's oh, going I mean, on. He's like Blasio. getting on to everybody because the previous snowstorm that we had, right? He attacked the mayor and. Yes. Uh, the governor. Yeah. Um, and well, now hold on, no, hold on, wait, wait. You got to slow down. Yes. Yeah, so he just he's shaking his what head. What happened? He's um uh it's I think that this is this is about the mayor of New York, right? Yeah. He's going after De Blasio. Right. I'm saying for not okay. He, so previously he said something. Yeah. About Al that. Roker's on this rampage, right. <laughs> this right. rage against uh, officials. Well, there's a reason like. for this because uh, this new mayor of New York City, and you know we don't live in New York City, but you know. This guy, I, I'm, it's hilarious. This guy is like a leftist from, you know, he was down there supporting the Sandinistas in the 80s. I mean, this guy is a big time leftist. And um, he, for some reason, has kept the schools open through this entire snowstorm. As he should. Why? He sh- because. Why not? They can get to school. I don't care if it's blizzard-like conditions. And you remember what happened here a few freezing. weeks ago? The kids yeah, stuck on school buses don't for take eight buses. hours? They don't take the buses. Right. Get on the train. You walk to school. There's no reason not to be there. I'm sure there's some buses that are taken in some neighborhoods, I would imagine. Well, they're also uh, privately run in New York. All right. So, so the point is, but de Blasio. Sue. The parents put the kids on the bus hoping they get stuck so they can sue. De Blasio. It's a great plan. De Blasio <laughs> <laughs> blamed it on the, on the meteorologist. That's why Al Roker got involved. De Blasio said at a press conference, well, the schools weren't closed because the, the forecast was just for a light dusting. And we ended up, and this threw Al Roker into a tizzy because he has a kid who had to go to school. And uh, basically, de Blasio was completely wrong. They went back and they found the, uh, the weather report, and it exactly predicted right at the time exactly where it was going to hit, exactly how bad it was going to be. This guy, de Blasio, I, I'm, it's hilarious. You know, you, the Giuliani's <laughs> and all these people come in and clean up New York, and now it gets so clean that they go, you know what, let's relax again. And I'm just, you know, my people are just waiting in the wings to come back and rescue the city in four years because this hey, guy's going to be if, horrible. If the crime goes up, the rents go down, I'm all for it. It does not bother me one bit <laughs> until I'm stabbed. Yeah, as right. long as you home. live. But uh, but, you're, but you're my rent's cheap. Yeah, that's <laughs> remember this. No matter Come how on. no matter how bad crime gets, most people don't get hit over the head. So you could be lucky enough to get the low rents and not get mugged. That's, that's what a I'm, perfect that's world. What I'm for banking you. on absolutely. So yeah, Al Roker's calling for this guy to only have one term. He's yeah, like, ah, this guy's only going to be around for one term. Yeah, I agree with Al Roker. Yeah. When did Al Roker become a badass? Have you I seen know, him that's lately? What I'm he's, saying. Like, he's got the fedora on. And he's he's wearing the long coats and he's attacking public yeah. figures. Yeah, yeah a couple a, stables in your stomach. All of a sudden, you know better than me. Now look at me, yeah, I'm yeah, skinny. See? Watch me roar. So what uh, this De Blasio <laughs> should have maybe done? Watch me pace around <laughs> McDonald's, going, you. I wish. He was going after Vladimir Putin, you know, Spit on the Today out, coverage Eric. of the Olympics. I don't know. My mouth's not working today. <laughs> you got much so mouth. Delicious banana bread I'm eating. <laughs> Speaking of professional. Al I've got about two more seconds for de Blasio, then I want something else. Oh, well, what he should have done, right, is uh, made a fun little video announcement. Like oh. these um, administrators in the Durham Academy, who's, which is an independent school in Durham, North Carolina, mm-hmm. uh, they made a Ice Ice Baby parody. To announce that schools were closed. This is the end of the world. Here it is. So this is the principal and the vice principal. Um, All right, stop. These are head of school. And listen, ice is back and the roads will glisten. Polar vortex has a hold of us tightly. Wind like a harpoon, daily and nightly. Will the power stop? No, I don't know. Turn up the heat and let go. Sound like Greg. Falling down like a million <laughs> missiles, bringing school delays and early dismissals. Dance. Dance to the grocery store. My battery before conditions become deadly. All right, that's it. I'm done. I'm sorry. I lo- if I feel like if I was a part of this administration, I would be in on this. Oh, you I, you definitely <laughs> would be. I would be. My idea, I would like, let's write it. Let's do it. Let's tape it. Let's put it out. Can I tell you something? Great. That is an example of everything that is wrong with this country right Old now. Oh, man, look at my. <laughs> <laughs> the, the administrators of the school are not supposed to be your buddies. They're not supposed to be. They're supposed to. You're supposed to fear them. Oh, to us. Come yes, on. you're su- not not to the point you think they're going to smack you over yeah. the head, but you're not you don't they're not supposed to be your they pals. They can't have fun. No. No. Oh, okay. No, when I was a kid, I never saw any of my teachers having fun ever once. Never nowhere. I saw my 7th grade teacher smoking a cigarette one time outside grade. of school and it ruined me. Yeah. Say that again cuz she spoke right over you. No, my point was better. No, I want to hear Michael's point. Cuz it agrees with your point. 
But no, I was because I have an awesome jacket on. He's oh, got an shit. amazing jacket. I'll take off my pants. No, I saw uh, <laughs> my seventh grade teacher. Uh, she, I saw her smoking a cigarette out does it like at, outside the supermarket sometime yeah, when, right, I, when yeah. I was in seventh grade. And I was like, this has ruined my life. Yeah, it freaks you out because you don't think of those people. And then I started smoking in eighth grade. and What grade was it that you saw it? Seventh. The next year, I was like, well, she can do it. So can I. Yeah, I mean, I I'm a, I was Halloween trick or treating when I was in kindergarten, in a in a trailer park. That's kind of <laughs> like you know, I I didn't live in the trailer park, but it was close enough that it was basically in the same conditions. We were poor as hell, and the door opens, and it's my beautiful, and I mean the first woman I ever fell in love with, my kindergarten teacher, mm-hmm. Mrs. Timmons, who was probably twenty one or twenty two. Timmons, those are the best. Absolutely beautiful, and it freaked me out. I mean, I jumped out of my devil suit. I couldn't believe that she actually <laughs> lived in a place and opened the door. But this woman is, I still have the picture of me in kindergarten and, you know, the whole class. And she's so fine. And and now I think about it. Are, I'm you, b- are you in a, a 90s R&B group? She's, um, so, fine. she's so fine. <laughs> she's so fine. <laughs> and I think about it now because she was 21 then. That's 1969 or something. So she's so fine. But and I'm 50 this year. So she's like 70 or something. It's weird to me. It's weird that you're still in. My it. first love. I want to see her now. Miss Timmons. So what was it that you were Valley. saying that, I, uh, that we, we get just got, uh, inadvertently got into a competition for talking over? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that uh, Eric, you said that you're... Oh, you never saw your teachers have any fun, but then you dropped out in the eighth grade. So, no, I did not drop out in the eighth grade. What did you do? I dropped out in the ninth. Sorry, dropped out in the, ninth, out grade. Grade. <laughs> Sorry. Out in the ninth, ninth grade. I did. I did ten solid high school weeks before solid. I threw in the towel. Thank oh, okay. you. Okay. Give me some credit, please. <laughs> um, no, but I mean, when I was a when I was a kid, I don't know what, what what this if this was high school, maybe it was. But if you see the video, do we are we going to link it? If you yeah, see yeah. the video, you know they've got ski goggles on and they're just being very wacky, and I just don't think of. I, I always thought the principal is supposed to be the nice guy. The vice principal is the guy that These you're supposed to hate. These are not principals. They're not principals. They're like head of school, and it's a it's a, a it's the day same school. thing. It's a private it's a school. Indi- it's an independent day school. I don't know what that means. Maybe they have like free hour where you just get to throw mud balls at each other mm-hmm. if you want to. Yeah. And if you want to learn phonetics, you can. You I don't can. know. You know, then if you want to. Maybe. I mean, the guys are so young. Maybe they're relaxed. The lead guy is like thirty something. Yeah, like they a don't. Student. They don't look like old. Yeah, dudes. well, that's the way. Assistant head of school. Men in schools need to be old and seasoned. Otherwise, I'm not interested. <laughs> old and seasoned. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> yeah, sea captain. <laughs> hey, I'm cranky. I'm a cranky. I'm a curmudgeon. I, but I person like I. You guys roll am, with everything. Your generation, no, which I think is beautiful. It's not my generation. I'm motivated by honey rather than vinegar. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I would rather you level with me and not be like this domineering professor, teacher, angry person. I'd rather you be like. I, I'm here to help you. You're here to help me. Are we you. on Let's the air? Are we having a meeting right now? <laughs> I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like we're and I went a... to my professor and I said, Eric! <laughs> I can't so, do this. All right, give me one more. One more. Well, I really want to get into that Facebook um, uh, oh, gender thing. We can do it. Is we that can too do it. No, we can do it. We'll yeah, I want to know what that is. Oh I, my God. I've seen about it, but I don't know. It's going to be amazing. Facebook is allowing users to uh, customize gender. So it's not just going to be um, male or female options. It's going to be like 58 There's, 50, uh, there's over 50 things and you can And let the open micer jokes begin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just so annoying. Um, uh, get it? I'm not there. Shut up. <laughs> well, I don't understand. Well, I what are they going to do? You're quite helpful to the young comedians that come through. <laughs> I mean, I was, I'm was i generalizing open mic, meaning like just horrible jokes. Yes, and yes. Everyone's going to do it the first 10 minutes and it's mm-hmm. going to just... And then it's, oh, I'm so sick of that. <laughs> said, I'm, said I'm, I'm so here. clever. <laughs> and I say that and then people are going to lambast me for... Right. for thinking, what well, if you, you have think a really... You're clever with all your quips. Shut yeah. up. What if you think about... Uh, you tell people to shut up a lot. I think I'm talking to myself to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Most times when I say that, I'm like, oh, shut up. What if you come up with a really great joke about it? Will you I not won't. do it? I won't. What if you just thought just like what if airplane gold? You're taking a shower and it it's comes to you. It's not gold. There is no gold when it comes to doing the joke that everybody does. I... Mm. You have your own little twist on it, baby. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll see. Let's you can see give it to one of the young kids. Oh, you should write some and just give it to the young kids so at least the stuff you don't want to hear <laughs> is of your caliber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll teach it in my comedy class that I don't have. So what are they? What are they? Uh, well, along with... Um, I'm mean, can't go through all 58. Right. Uh, along with some different pronouns like he, she, or they. Okay. Um, you that, can well, also... Well, well, let's stop right there. Yeah. They. They. And I do not want this to devolve into a, a gay thing. Or whatever. How can a person be they? Well, so 
Uh, well, let me let me give let me give you some other. You are singular, too. right? No matter what you identify yourself as, right. you are singular. But maybe you're not <laughs> right. But it's it's. I think it's tough Candy to ball. call someone it. You know what I mean? Because it refers to non sentient or uh, non living things. I'm not. I'm not. Things. I'm not arguing for it. I get right. rid of it or so, and they or. But what, what if I mean, you're neither he nor she? But you're not then they. What are you? Then because you're dead. it's not. So okay, what do you okay, say? Let me just say this. No, no, if wait. you're neither he nor she, you're dead. Okay, so you have to you have to separate in your mind. I know it's it is it is a little bit strange. Yeah. Um, especially for us since we are gender conforming to our biological sex. Okay. I, th- this, this is true. Okay. okay this, um, we are conforming by being. No. What we we, are. we agree with the sex. Yes. Our gender agrees. I with our have sex. an agreement. I yes, I have an agreement with my sex. Right. That, and th- that's that's how we are. But there are some people who feel that their sex is not the same as their gender, and maybe they don't identify with he or she. Well, so they well, don't. That, what, are the, what are the that options? would be their problem? What are the, <laughs> the options without the, looking at the fifty-six? There's he. There's a guy, girl. There's also uh, you could be both a hermaphrodite. Well, that's there's real, no that's hermaphrodite. Okay, thing. that's a real thing, no, right? No, 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 no. Hermaphrodite is not the correct word. Well, what is the correct word? Well, there's a difference between uh, uh, nu- neutro, 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 what? Non-binary stuff like that. Okay, non-binary. Well, I mean, that's, oh wait, that's um, medical. That's a thing. Oh no, no, no. Intersex is a variation in sex characteristics, including chromosomes, gonads, or genitals, that do not allow an individual to be distinctly identified as male or female. So uh, that's a real example, thing. Though. That's, that's a, a medical thing. thing. So right. So that, maybe I get that. If you want to identify as that, so male. You're born female. with a physical penis, but you have ovaries. Sure. So that whatever hermaphrodite's medical term is, right. which is that. Okay. And then if you have a sex change, you there's, could be transgender. There's tra- that's transsexual. Transsexual. Transgender is, is when you just wear the clothes, right? It's right when you're okay, when so you you're, identify with a like different Bruce Jenner, sex. exactly. But if you identify if you're a male and you identify with any one of those, you are a transgender, correct? So um, that's five. No, no. I so I know it gets else. really yeah. crazy. Uh, so uh, you only have fifty two to go. I know. <laughs> so, but they do these interesting <laughs> things where they say, okay, there's trans female, and then there's trans woman. And then there's trans. Wait, well, hold on, stop right there. Fats. How could and there that's be a McDonald's? Trans- <laughs> How in the hell could, is what? How could there be a difference between trans female and right. trans woman? Because I think that female has to do with how I love the fact that you were re- able to really oh man I went into it last night I was looking researching mm-hmm. Wikipediaing all night <laughs> <laughs> so, that's what Greg was doing too uh, so I think it has to do like female has a certain uh, connotation to it being female and being, being a woman uh, no no okay <laughs> no but if you call someone a female and you call someone a woman it does have a little bit of a difference doesn't it no 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 Zero. I think that there will be. I don't think I can think no, about it. There will be feminists a, who don't want to refer to themselves in, as either one because the word male is in female and the um, word man is in woman. That, this is, that could this have is, a feel. That could be this one is of not the emotions. Stuff inside of here. This is picket raising stuff. Okay, no, no. Okay, what about like if you if you if I walked in the room, you wouldn't say, "Oh, a female just walked into the room." A female that seems very clinical uh, or something, right? right it seems well, like maybe, a, but an it still means the same and, thing. I, you can decide. Right, but I'm saying, no, no, I'm not like saying about whether it's. Phys- you wouldn't say a male walked into the room, right? You really? say like you this guy this or guy, a man, right, right. exactly. So there is a little bit of a different mm, meaning, don't you think? What is the weirdest one? But if you're describing someone mm-hmm. that you don't know, he's a tall male, it's a tall female. So therefore, you could also say it's a tall man, a tall woman. Yeah. Right, so. but if I was talking to you, I might say it was a girl or it was a woman. Yeah, right. I might but not say it was point. a female. My point is, you can call me a guy when I walk in the room. You can call me Eric. You can call me Ray. You can call me Jay. <laughs> you guys don't get that reference. Um, you can call me anything you want. But when I go to the thing and I got to type in what I am, if I, I'll put in male, I don't, it's not like right. oh well, I'm not. I don't like to be referred to as a male because you it's just, because you're just identifying for some algorithm somewhere that you're not a female. What if you? What if it had to do with radio and how people call you shock jock? Yeah, you well, know? you deal. That's with a little it. bit insulting. Right? Yeah, but I and mean, so if you have the option, but insulting. Right? Accurate, and, you, know, you know what happens there? You know what I mean, though. So yeah, you go. You oh, have... I don't want to be called a shock jock, and then the next check clears, and you go, okay, what the hell? Call me a shock okay, jock. Uh, it's working. It's not about money. So I'm saying on a form. If you and sexuality obviously is different than being called a shock jock, you know what I'm saying? But it, you'd be it, surprised. It has a feeling. There's a feeling <laughs> about it. And so if you had another option to choose besides shock jock, maybe it was like entertainer or right. radio personality. It might make you feel a little Broadcaster bit better. Broadcaster was always my exactly. favorite. There you go. So if you had those options, it might make you feel a little bit better. And so having these options. Internet these, basement mogul. <laughs> I wish that was Absolutely. an option. <laughs> so, what is, so Facebook is making all these things available for you to. Right, and set the idea. someone even said um, there's going to be a lot of people who uh, this makes no difference at all 
Um, and then there's going to be the small percentage that makes a huge impact that they're being I, they're being able to be given the option to well, identify. Look, as I'm a libertarian. Something. Facebook is a private company. They can do whatever they want. I would be really upset if this was now the government was telling us everybody has to oh, refer no. to this way. No. But no. if they feel like that little percentage will help them with their bottom line, that's fine. But it's still ridiculous. I think it's really interesting. You so know who we, doesn't care about this? Okay. Me, because I'm not on Facebook. Though I am a <laughs> stockholder, I do hope. Oh, oh, did you buy some? Four shares. <laughs> when it dropped below twenty, I said I'm going to buy some. Four shares. It's above. It, it's like sixty-seven bucks now. No, you should. You should. You, you should take your. I don't really three hundred bucks and get out. I don't really believe in your company. I don't use it. But right. I, here's. Well, you're hedging your bets up front. You're hedging your bet. What would you refer to yourself as yeah. if you were on Facebook? Well, listen. So Ro- we Ro- are robot. robotic. Is robot? Yes. Hey, is robot on there? Because uh, there is something, something ro- called uh, Two Spirit. No, <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> two Spirit. Oh, see, now it's just getting to ridic- it's just ridiculous. So <laughs> it's just, it's you just get r- an idea that if, like they had a meeting at Facebook <laughs> and they were all just like throwing th- stuff out. Two, ah, two, two spirit. spirit is actually it's a third gender role, which is historically embodied from these you know like Inuits and things. Like what? That. Yeah, look, that, I don't want anything that implies soul. Eskimos? I want yeah, something like no soul. Robotic, no yeah, <laughs> plastic circuitry. <laughs> so it is kind of interesting. Uh, machine, uh, machine should be one. We are all called cis, which is uh, C I S, which is um, the gender di- gender identity where yeah. an individual's experience of their own gender mm-hmm. matches the sex they were assigned. It's at called birth. cis, right? That's cis, and oh, then there's on, a billion. You know what that used to, you know what it used to be called? What normal. Uh, all right. Well, this is the normal <laughs> cis. There's cisgender. You just cis opened female, up all the uh, cis male, box cis there, about a can of worms, because you're saying these other people aren't normal. I know that's how they're going to take it. But you know, I mean, I, I don't think I. This is the way I think when well, all these about, subjects always come uh-huh. up is, <laughs> I am live and let live. Freedom. Uh, your your rights end at the uh, at the end of your fist, right? You can't punch me. You can't come after me. My rights end at the end of my fist. Do what you want to do. Just stay off my Facebook. <laughs> no, but, what, and, and but my what I'm saying is, it doesn't mean just because tolerance does not mean I have to buy everything. That I have to believe everything that I'm told. Tolerance just means is, hey, you disagree with me, and who gives a damn? Live your life. I'll live my life. Well, that's that's what some of the listeners feel too. I'm reading the stream, and some of them are like, "This is a dumb topic. I'm out of here. Oh, oh, hell with them." Exactly. Why Get do you always gravitate toward the three people who are, <laughs> I think who are negative? Hilarious. I think it's hilarious. It's, uh, you know, I don't like when people are talking about big news stories and yeah. all the <laughs> things that might make me slightly uncomfortable. I'm leaving this yeah. here show. You know, I, I, I fell out of favor. They're probably the, also skipping Valentine's Day. Yes. I fell out, out of favor at the regular guys when I kept saying, you know, I don't care what the audience wants to hear. Yeah, I exactly. care what I want to do. And if you want to be part of it, you can be part of it. If not, there's plenty of other things to do. Boom. I love you, Eric. Uh, Happy you know Valentine's what? Day. What, what, what would nice you like to be referred as? Would I would like, like to be referred to. I, I think internet basement mogul fits yeah. me perfectly. You know, what about your gender? My gender? Yeah. I'm a male. Male. Right. I'm a male. I got, I've got male parts that are, you know, I'm happy with. That's great. And, you know, I, I don't, I'm not going to get myself in a bunch of trouble and really explain how I feel about this because we're just getting this thing up and running. And well, I do not need that pressure group acceptance. on my back. Acceptance. It's not. I don't think tolerance is a very good word because tolerance means like no, 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 I'll no, tolerate no. a mosquito. You know what? No, no. That's that's what need, you need to understand. Yeah. Tolerance is the word. Acceptance is asking too much of everybody. Really? Yes. I don't have to accept your behavior. What I have to do is tolerate it and say you live your life and you I'll live my life and we can ignore each other. I don't have to accept every new notion that's popular i'm not going to accept the fact that there are 58 different (laughs) ways to describe your gender no i'm not okay i I think once you get to three you're stretching it but that's about as far as i go you get to the fourth and you're getting into la la land but then what if you really are like someone who is male to female and you're not you're then you are at that point. If you're a look, but if you're, you're pre- a male, you're a male. If you're a female, you're a female. But if you're presenting as a female, what do you do? What do you call yourself? Like if if I call yourself in a here, female, right? And so that's the difference. But why do we need fifty eight different? But ways why do you care? Like honestly, I'm not care, trying to be an buddy. asshole. Like why do you care if somebody wants to identify at I don't. number fifty four? No, I don't. I don't. Okay. I don't. I just I, I I want Strange. I want to get this world back to a point where everybody can accept each other, but we can still say uncomfortable things to each other. We oh, can. Sure. I can still say it's gotten to the point now with conversations about that. It's just like you're either against gays <laughs> or you accept everything they say about themselves. I think in reality, when you have, you can say, look, I accept everybody and I don't I, th- I don't think anybody should be hounded in this life. I believe in freedom. I believe you should, you want to marry a guy and you're a guy, marry a guy. Just don't tell me that uh, I have to deal with you. I don't have to deal with you. I just, as a matter of fact, I don't care about you. 
That's the way yeah. life should be. Are people saying, people are, are gay people own, coming up to you and saying, deal with me? No, I'm talking <laughs> about the news coverage. I'm talking about, you know, the the way that... Uh, so it's more of an it's issue the smug, with the coverage like, that you have. Yeah. It's the it, well, presentation well, also, of it. Also the activists. Let me tell you something about... Well, uh, activists and always And the coverage are that we are providing it right now for the last gay activists, minutes. Gay activists, <laughs> gay activists, gay activists, gay activism is uh, at, the, at the top, top heavy with sort of academics, collegiate, elitist types of sure. people. You don't have a lot of plumbers that are, <laughs> that are you know, like in unions, you got a lot of plumbers. You got a different, you know, the, uh, the, that, all those activists, when I was in radio for so long, it's really funny, whether it's um, African-American activists, whether it's Indian activists, uh, gay activists, what I found interesting about, because I had to have many meetings because of things that we mm -hmm. said, whatever, those, the gay activists and the African-American activists activists have more in common with each other than they do necessarily with just another African-American or another gay person. Activists have the same personality. Sure. They just come with a different, you know, tag. Right, with that a different they're, sign. They're going to get in your face. <laughs> I was, we got in trouble early on because I, this is what we got in trouble for, speaking, basically. When we first got to Atlanta, I mentioned that when I was a kid, now damn it, whether you like it or not, this is true. We played a game called Smear the Queer. Mm -hmm. I wasn't saying... I invented that game. Yeah. I think it's the greatest name for a game. I said, when we were kids, we played a game called the Smear the, the Queer. Yeah, you had a football and whoever, no, we had sit down meetings. You know, well, you don't understand what that word and there's violence involved there. I said, no, you, what you don't understand is I was telling you something real about my childhood. Right. Right. And I will get up out of this office and I will walk out of here and never have a paycheck again. But you're not going to come in here and tell me that I can't tell you true things that happened. Right. And we got, and then it, it calmed down a little bit. But um, and at one point the guy gets comfortable. This gay activist he says, "Well, you know, quite frankly, sometimes when, when you're making fun of the blacks and women, I just think, Phew, thank God it's not us." So he's not even there. <laughs> he, he doesn't even care about anyone else. It's just his own, you know, sort of thing. And so that's all, all I'm saying is, no, just, you know, that. you can you you. It's, there it's are not. To, this yeah. is ridiculous. If yeah. Facebook can make some money off it, that's great for them. But it is not true that there are 58 ways that you can describe your gender. I'm sorry. Well. It, I'm it, sorry, it's it not. It is true. It's but, true that Facebook is allowing you to. Well, and that these exist and that these, these are... Oh, do they? Well, they are existing. Uh, People are using them. Can you dig up some autopsy reports in the last, I don't know, ever since there ever that was medicine? That's sex. That's sex, <laughs> not gender. That's sex, not gender. You're accepting that premise. Yeah. I'm not. Okay. That's the, well, that's, the, well, I do want to say, though, it is it is fine. Like, I... I think it's fine to have a conversation like this you yeah. know like if we disagree i think that's great and right. but the problem is, is that it doesn't mean people, i hate gays because i disagree correct. and that's that's, that's the thing that's me. the thing and, and when we, people talk about you know problems in like the black community or whatever you know yeah, yeah. act um, activists whatever well, people, i mean you got the inner city you, you look at the inner you city you can't have a conversation exactly. about the fact that something like 60 percent of children are being born out of wedlock right you can't even approach that because you're if, a racist if, if, a, if a man from <laughs> mars came here to fix that problem it's right. the first thing they dwell on look at it like we can't outsider. even have the conversation. And right. you wonder why things like Detroit and all this kind of stuff happen because nobody can ever have the conversation because, you know, if you're called, I've had it happen to me. You know, publicly you're called a racist a few right. times. You just back off. It's a, it's an ugly place to be and you don't want to be that poster boy. Correct. So it's yeah. kind of a way to shut down uh conversation right and you can't get anywhere without conversation well i feel like this conversation about it has been fine i've enjoyed it me too i've enjoyed it let's high five oh. <laughs> <laughs> i still want there to be a robot i, I would that describe would myself as a robot is it anyway, <laughs> android would it be hit an that android? sound well, by what? the way ro if they had robot and going back to they i have this idea that you could connect brains with another person via usb and right. then, then it's two and one. They, Ooh. it's fit. Non-binary. There is an option for non-binary. That's the closest okay, well, to I, robot. We've gone too long. But before you hit that yeah. sounder, explain those two things to me if you can. Non-binary oh. and they. Or just from your memory. I just explained they to you. That's you, what it is. That's a potential they. That's my they. That's a mindscape they. When somebody says that's, that's going to be my they. new drug. They don't fit uh, with... They're they, both man and male and female, but isn't no, there a word don't, for that? they don't identify as male or female, What do they guess. identify as? A I, tree? Well, do you what go if I around? want to say I was? I thought, you know what? On the inside, no, no. I feel like a tree. So I want you to respect me. Arbol, arbolius. <laughs> I'm an arbor. I'm an arborist. I, yeah. I was born a male, but inside I'm a tree. And can so you, please respect me. Can you imagine and, though it, what it must be like to? I mean, just no matter what you just, think what is right or wrong, if you really don't feel like a woman or a man, you just feel like this weird in between. The tree man though would be the worst. You couldn't even build fires. Come on over. <laughs> Let's have a dinner party tonight. 
Is that a fire? You have oh, a I've fire burning in oh. your fireplace tonight? You. You can't write on paper? Anti-arborist. No. <laughs> this house, this home disgusts Murderer. me. <laughs> what is this, this table this, made of? Is this house built of wood? <laughs> It's my family. <laughs> this is a holocaust in this living room. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah, whatever. I mean, we look, 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 Mike, we went through all the jokes for the young comedians. So Absolutely. they can just pull it's from done. here and do open mics forever. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Gender Talk. Yes. On yeah, we do this every Sunday Monday. morning from 3.30 to 4 That's right. <laughs> on WSB. <laughs> Did you have your little signature out? That you got a little out? Are we that's done our forever? news. Oh, I don't know. Just oh, that's new. our take on the news. If you want some more stories we uh, didn't get to, you can find us on our Facebook on uh, ericvonradio.com, mm-hmm. the subreddit, everywhere. We're everywhere. Just put in Eric Von Radio. You got yeah. a so you got a social platform or something like that. Put in Eric Von Radio. We're probably there. Uh, what did I put on my little list for next? Well, here are our choices. <laughs> We're running behind Autumn and Pete Holmes, the interview, Ooh. which we could save, <laughs> save we for could. Monday because that'll Did last. Did he do it for a that'll reason? Keep? Like, does he have a premiere that starts this weekend or something? His uh, TBS show is coming back. So When, though? Do you know? Uh, February 20th. Okay, but so if we did it on Monday, <laughs> she did a we, lot wouldn't, we wouldn't be screwing him if we did it or on Monday. Or the Olympic know. name game. Um, I'm in for some game. We just did some namey stuff, but what the hell? Uh, this is Autumn called me last night. First, I got a text. Yeah, and I was like, she's always so she's so like uh, like. Can I bother you with an idea? And so I call. <laughs> you set that up, by the way. You yeah. dismiss her quite often. I do. So therefore, because I, I call, like we're texting, and I call you because I want to talk to you, and you don't answer. I'm like, well, I I put the phone down. <laughs> I was, uh, well, that's different. He has an answer for anyone. Yeah. yeah. No, I feel like the only way I get you is if I call. If I text, I feel like yeah, maybe I'll get a response. Really, I'm usually yeah. for most people, I'm better with text. Oh, really? Um, but I'm not always. I'm just not good at getting back to people. So anyway, she wanted. I, I like these um, kind of things where she gives me. So you, what are you gonna do? We gonna. Um, I can't even remember what the idea was. Something about names of Olympians. Yeah. So you can't look. Let me hide this. I'm there. not gonna look. I'm a very um, honest person. So I have uh, some gold medal winners uh, from, from the this Olympics. year. From this year. So yeah. she. Yeah. The, current olympics <laughs> which um, by the way was f- fabulous last night we haven't even covered it oh yeah I, a lot of stuff happened i didn't see it but i, I read about see it, it either yeah, people are very excited i saw the skeleton racing whatever yeah. that is that's a they... weird name for a race i, I keep understand. expecting to see some sort of horror film <laughs> skeleton racing i skeleton do they call it that like that, is that a verb i skeleton i don't know is, is that when you're like is that the when you're doing the bobsled alone yeah when you get on your stomach and Luge-like. women fly around yeah it's uh, crazy. i didn't i'm not uh, i didn't again i didn't see any of the olympics last night with a double luge uh, the double is. I didn't know that that existed. Yeah, I didn't either. They what do you mean? With well, the two people? Yeah, what? they lie on one on top of one another. Oh yeah, you know what? I think somebody it may have been Canada. Somebody got, was a little bit. Uh, they made a pro-gay commercial because of the Russian thing with the anti-gay stuff, and they used their luge guys. And <laughs> the tagline was something like, "Hey, the Olympics are always a little gay." It was pretty funny actually. <laughs> 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 <They> got, uh, <laughs> but, oh yeah, I saw that when they yeah. were thrusting. Yeah, it's it's very uh, so they get on top of each other yeah. and, <laughs> and they just what, shoot down this, this slide at eighty miles per hour. Fantastic. Um. Uh. So yeah, and I guess you have Jenny Plashenko or whatever. If that's one of your names, I, I do know his name. Um, the big Russian skater. He pulled out at the last second, and uh, some Japanese skater is tearing it up. Best. Oh, well, it was Japanese skater broke a hundred in his score. Is that his last name? Uh, broke a hundred. Yes. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Tokyo broke a hundred. Broke a hundred. <laughs> broke a hundred. Sounds right. like it sounds like a it sounds like a guy that likes to dress up like Pocahontas, and that's his that's his <laughs> his brony is bro, Brocahontas. <laughs> I've dated a couple Brocahontases. A couple that's guys that dress up like Pocahontas. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. That's good for you. you guys think I'm so close minded? I'm not at all. <laughs> I'm not the only one. <laughs> um, I gotta uh, stay off these goddamn news feeds. Well, you <laughs> look too much. You're too. Streams. You're too. What you're, are you're, you're, you're gotta stay away uh, from that. Doesn't matter. Stay away. He's a comedian. He's used to dealing with the audience right in front of yeah, him. Yeah, you know? I need to. So, yeah, I need let it go. <laughs> I know that he goes. We have to. We probably like Michael. Probably runs three people away because if somebody said a day because somebody says something to me, he's like, "Well, look at this asshole. You can go somewhere else." No, no, no. I'm having very, uh, very, very good conversations. Yeah. Very so, good. Someone thinks I don't know. I'm not gonna. I don't want to talk about. It. Okay, I'll talk about it. Yeah. Two seconds. Somebody, yeah. somebody was saying that they're. Um, and I, I like again. It's. Uh, uh, someone said that we're. It's it's interesting to see people of the privileged majority mm-hmm. should <laughs> criticize others to fight, and my response was is like. So, because we're white, we can't have an opinion, even though most of us are in support 
of, 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 of the of the of the topic. No, this is what is this about the gender stuff? Yeah. Yeah. This is, this, it reminds me of, uh, I used to have these conversations, like, you know, there was a time, it was probably the 70s or 80s, where women began to assert themselves in the workplace. I was always for that. I was never somebody who said, hey, women shouldn't be the thing, obviously. And, but then it got to the point where it was like, well, no, now you have to change the workplace. Like, all those jokes you've been telling for the last mm -hmm. 150 years in the workplace, right. now that has to, I used to say, no, 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 you have a right to be here. <laughs> you have no right to decide what I can and cannot say. So that's always been my sort of a pen unless you're being flat out rude to somebody right. but i mean just just coming in and being upset oh, that the culture is what it was before you got there to me seem i wouldn't be like that when i started following the band around i'm i'm just jumping into something that's 25 years old what if i got in the middle of that and said oh you guys are doing this wrong and hey i'm here and don't make those jokes i mean well, what so kind of you, jokes are you speaking of no like a men men dominated what, what, the man joke look at her i'd like to bang her that no, kind of joke no 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 not that's at all it's only okay that's, if you're hot that's extreme that's extreme but a lot of women would just get upset because one co-worker told another co-worker a dirty joke and she overheard it it's like well that's part of being in the workplace there's a lot of men who never liked hearing those jokes either it's not their style anyway we're getting way down a rabbit yeah, hole so i didn't mean right. to bring that up yeah. So this is are we the white privileged? No, oh, are we privileged? Absolutely. I don't Look at feel us. In 1969, when I was five years old, I drank powdered milk. <laughs> I was poorer than you can imagine. My dad was in jail. My first memory in life was combing my hair, getting ready to go visit my dad in jail. I did not come <laughs> from privilege. But look at you now. Yes. Don't I've made it all the way to my basement. All right, so this is these. <laughs> oh, is this the, the music for the game? game? Yeah, but it also fit. <laughs> <laughs> nicely with your story about visiting your dad in jail. I thought we would have like the dum dum dum. Uh, uh, you want the Olympic? Oh, I like the Olympic da, 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 da. All right, let's go do that. That's pretty epic. Anyways, explain <laughs> this. Okay, so this is the name game. game. Uh, it's the name game. Olympic style. Um, so we're gonna go through uh, different categories of uh, competition: snowboarding, women's slope style, cross country skiing, men's skiathlon, blah blah blah. blah. And I'm going to give you three names. And only one of the names is a real medal winner. And you have to. No, guess the other one. names, real names, but they didn't win the medal, or you just made up no, names? No, they're real names, but they're not Olympians. Oh, okay. All right. They Stop doing that. I'm not going to look. Don't I'm, look. I'm I can't you, read might, anyway. you can't yeah. help it. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it's. Gonna no, we got to have music first. Oh, it's waiting for the advertisement. What do we win best? for this game? Does anybody win? We never think about I that. I tried to make. Uh, a loser, me. and you said no. I'll never this do that. This was her idea. She called me last night, and I told her. I had to tell her. I just accepted three quarters of your idea. Stop yelling at me because she was being very <laughs> upset. She, she wanted. Was, she she was, wanted the winner. She was going to bring in an icy, right? And the winner, or the loser, had to drink it really fast and get a brain freeze. And I thought, well, I didn't say this to her, but you know, she, it's like she not, was very excited of that. It was not, around when she came up with it. It's a little bit 1986 zoo morning zoo. As is this whole thing, but I just didn't like that. I didn't. I didn't like that ending. Oh, it's wacky. Fun. We're gonna try to give ourselves it's the a brain winter freeze. Olympics. I get it, but you could have brought in an icy because I like them. I would have made you drink it. No, I don't. I will not give myself. Somebody has a to brain jump freeze. into the pool if you lose. No, oh, that's disgusting. Michael, do it. <laughs> I'll do anything. He'll do anything. He looks like the guy who would eat the goldfish. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so our first uh, category is snowboarding, women's slope style. And we have Jamie Anderson. Wait a minute, that's not a weird name. Beth Grant or Kimberly Williams <laughs> it's just, Paisley. It's just normal this names. This is the first one. This is the first one. Hold on a second. All right, I, we'll go to the next no, one. Give her a chance. Oh, She's going to build up. She's going to slow exactly. down. Exactly. Slow down. Fine, slow here down. go. Well, I, you guys are jerks. Here we go. <laughs> Cross-country skiing, men's skiathlon. You ready? You better listen. You're going to lose it. Oh, yeah. Not. <laughs> John first Henry. Name. No, that. <laughs> John Smith and John Jones. <laughs> I'm not playing this game. Terrible. I'm gonna go get an. I'm gonna go to the QT and grab an icy. <laughs> they don't have any. They're out of everything that was there. Look, the beauty of this show is that even when things don't work, they're funny. So no, go ahead. Here we go. Here we'll do a different one to appease you. Now again, will we have the third one? No, this is the all right cross country skiing, and this is the men's skiathlon. Okay. Yes. yes. Dario Colonna, Francois Alnaud, or Ainura Alidereva. Okay, the one you couldn't say. Yeah, that's got to be the one. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Eh, it's wrong. Dario Colonna. Oh, wow. So, Francois so Arnaud is a French actor, and Aria uh, Ainura is a student of mine from ICT. <laughs> <laughs> you giving shout outs now? Yes, yeah, so I thought it was an awesome name. And she's Russian. Well, the concept so for this game was just so she get a shout out. 
There's underwriting here from V103. Yeah, I think so. So we give shout outs. Yeah. My, dad just my dad, speaking of, just texted me. He said, Hey, I'm watching. Can I get a shout out? Oh. So I'm saying hi to my dad and don't say the word shout out to me ever again. <laughs> How old is your dad? He's older than me. Why well, no? But I mean, a uh, relative. You don't know, the exact age. He's in his 50s, 60s. Oh, no, no. He's, sorry, dad. He was. He, he's 40. <laughs> He's a young, he's a young fella. He's vibrant, he's and he's a huge fan of Costco. Like, what do you want me else to tell you? I think it's fantastic. <laughs> We're all okay, fans. Here we go. All right, one more. I'm giving you one more. <laughs> Speed skating, uh, ladies, 500 meters. Samira Shabandar. That's it. Michelle Yeoh. Her. That's it. Or Sang Hua Lee. That That's one. it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you uh, think? Michelle. Michelle Yo, okay. What do you say? I have no opinion in the matter. Well, you have to play the game. Play I can't it. remember You're the names. Us. Samira Shabhandar. Yes, yeah, the one. Michelle Yo or Sang Hua Li. That one. one with the first one. Uh, what do you say? Third Greg? one. That's right. Sang Hua Li. Yeah. Samira Shabhandar. I had no clue. Is right. Saddam's <laughs> second wife. Yes. Uh, Saddam Hussein. Michelle Yo is an actress from like Kung Fu Panda and Crouching Tiger. And she was a Bond woman. Bond girl. All right. A Bond, just woman. Say that. Bond woman. This Bond woman. Bond cisgender. She got a little bit older. This game was not what I thought it was going to be. What did you think it was going to be? I thought what you were going to do was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought that. I thought that... <laughs> I thought that what you were going to do was you're going to take names like Yevgeny Plashenko, right? And then you would make up other Russian names or Slavic names that you totally, totally made up. And then you would put them in there and we would try to figure out what, who the, what the real name is and which ones you made up. I didn't know that you'd be going and, you know... Pulling actresses from well, I thought that because so television. I chose Michelle Yeoh because mm -hmm. she is a name that maybe you would recognize since she was like in James Bond and she was a yeah. real actress. So maybe you would think, oh, I recognize that name. So maybe that's the and that name made it I fun. know. Yeah, How? because if I just made up like a no, I could do that. Jaluvia Shandar. Right. Well, I don't know, but these are the names so that you're saying. Of course, it's going to be made up. No, gonna... because the real ones sound like y Yuri Yagavanada shit. You know, so you make up one as uh, Yuri Yagavanada shots. You know That's why this point. didn't work? Because you didn't allow the slushy. That's right. If the icy exactly. were here. Then yeah. you would have steaks. <laughs> that would be good. And then you'd say... I'd put some skin in the game. That's right. You're like, yeah. oh, I got it. Now you're like, I don't know. Who cares? This game's dumb. <laughs> well, <laughs> hit that Olympic music. I think we're done with that game. <laughs> I say hit that Olympic music. I think, there we go. Don't feel bad. Uh, you guys are the worst. <laughs> it's been a terrible day for me so far. You did have a terrible day, didn't you? I did. I fell in your driveway. Really? Yeah, I did. Is it icy still? I've, there was a patch you know, of ice. still icy, yeah. yeah. It is in your neighborhood, yeah. Nobody yeah. saw it. Maybe that, that son of the... That saw yeah. you. <laughs> he's, just, he's, just, he's just icing Crash. down the... Michael, you didn't, uh, you didn't do any damage to my neighborhood this morning while driving here, I hope. I was fine. Was awesome. yeah. He hit that boy. Wonderful. <laughs> <with his heart. laughs> I thought about that. Like, I know that kid that saw him hit the sign, yeah. and I thought to Allegedly myself... Allegedly. Imagine. Right. Imagine. Had he, well, like, coming into my neighborhood, he, like, run over one of my neighbors Was he something. that kid, the the snowstorm from a few weeks ago, the one standing at the entrance of no, your neighborhood? No, no. no was, I was uh, going to say, if it was him, he would have just stood there and let the car hit him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was he? He's like, I'm out here for two hours waiting for my sister to get home. That's right. That's right. Oh, well, he was just waiting like a dog? Like, yeah, he was just waiting, waiting at there. the front door? Well, they, they're, they're good parents. You know, they, they raise good kids. Just so stand out there. They'll stand out there until she comes. It's two and a half hours. It's like, <laughs> I, was, I, I was standing I was like, you know, I don't think she's coming. I think she's probably staying at school. My kid's staying at school. Well, I was told to stand here. Yeah, so, so. If, if, if that was the kid and Michael's skidding down the street. He would just, ice. hey, my parents well, told me to stand here. This That's is my fate. <laughs> <laughs> Forever that I'll be. Yeah. Uh, I should go to the homeowners association meeting. <laughs> I and think just I'm going to need my to. metal fingers up. Like good luck. I am waiting. I don't even know what the protocol is for. There is, is no protocol. Does it belong to the city and they just replace those things? Yeah. I have no idea. It's not a. I mean, that's a street sign. So that's not a home association situation. I wouldn't think. Probably not. You should go out there and get it and then put it on the wall, <laughs> like a yeah. dorm room. Let's put it back here. Part we'll make it part oh, of it. Oh yeah. yeah. This is a stop sign too, so that'd be oh, just yes. like a yeah. We could, oh, you put the street sign up. That's cool. You can point it out to people. That's the street I live on. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's here in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> in my uh, man cave. Hey, this is the coolest basement in this neighborhood. I I think I feel safe in saying that. Um, Ready to beg for some more money? I think it's I believe point. so. I think it's the point we're at. Patreon.com. Go into business with us. We're we're having fun. Do you like to have fun? <laughs> Why do you have to put this sad? Because. <laughs> These animals are going to be slaughtered if you don't give us some money music. 
doesn't seem fitting. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying I'm to sell fun. playing on the fun. emotions. That's right. You need to have people. a sad it's, puppy face and look at the camera. But it's not, Next time, I'm going to just flash pictures of sad animals up on the screen. <laughs> and you'll be mixed in, too, pictures of you. Were you ever going to... And I'll be sad in the animals. Uh, do you, there's no way we can show the Patreon site, right? Page, eh, we could probably set that up, but we can go to the credits if you like, so you can see our. Oh, that's a good idea. All right, everybody. Current donors. They're, they're, we're up to almost a thousand dollars, um, and Monthly. that's a month. Thousand dollars a month. Not just a thousand bucks. So, $1, and, $1, and you can get in at the ten dollar level, the twenty five dollar level, the fifty dollar level, the hundred dollar level. Who would do it at a hundred dollars? Well, we have five, five people who are at the hundred dollar level. They're on, they're on the board. They're the badass. And when you're when you're on the board, that means you meet with me twice a year, uh, twice a year, and talk about. You know, give me your feedback. Let me know what you think. You're, you're part of the board. You put some real skin in the game. But it's the $10 level to me is the, the most important level. That's the founder level. And if you're one of these people who doesn't like what you're hearing on the airways, we're trying to do something about it. So We will uh, never talk about gender issues again if you <laughs> I'll talk donate about, money. No, no, you donate money. Guess what? I talk about what the hell I want to talk about. That's the game. That's what the um, show's called now. Because yeah, Gender I talk, issues with yes. Eric Von Hessler. We're going to do that as maybe our sixth show on Eric Von Radio. Gender, 24 hours a day. Um, I thought the gender thing was great. I, I did really too. Don't give a damn what people think about that. We used to deal with that with regular guys. You know, the ratings would be through the roof, and the person inside here would be like, "Well, that's a stupid thing to talk about." You know, they want they, you know why there's people out there. They want me to talk about Obamacare, and they want me to talk about uh, libertarian politics, and they want and porn they, stars in the studio. And they want right. porn stars, and yeah, that's their that's their relief. But uh, ooh, are we getting that? They get uh, actually. Uh, it's a good time to plug not just Patreon. Patreon.com. Uh, go there. Uh, Go into business with with us. We'd like to go into business with you. If you have ten bucks a month that you can use to uh, create the kind of radio you want to hear, please do. But if you don't, that's cool too because all the shows are always going to be free for everybody. We're going to do something today at noon. Uh, there's another show called That Other Show with EVH. Mm -hmm. The premiere was scheduled for today, and I was going to push it because we don't really have that show is supposed to be more talk radio style, more politics, that kind of thing. We don't really have the phone system set up, but what we'll do is we'll we'll just we'll have Greg ask me questions. So, so go into uh, the social stream, send your questions to any of our social platforms, and at noon today, if you want to, you can. <laughs> oh Jesus! Sorry. Holy you can. Shit. <laughs> the baby came out of her mouth. <laughs> I'm allergic to uh, asking <laughs> you just for money. Sneezed your baby out. Um, so yeah, at noon today, we will be live with that other show with EVH. So that'll be our first show. If you can join us in the chat room. Or hit us up on Twitter or any other places with questions, and that is the place to be more political. <laughs> she is just. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I ripped my headphones out so I could get far away from the mic as I could. That's her covering up crying. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was S, it's, I thought that game would be better. <laughs> I was just thinking about those sad animals. <laughs> so, uh, that other show with EVH, the first one. Noon today, if you, if you can, join us. Submit your questions, and we'll do it the way we did the, uh, the second Ask Eric Anything. Greg can just hit me with the questions. This is the place to be political. If you want me to answer questions about China, <laughs> that other show with EVH, that's the place to submit it. Or, and I'll actually speak about Obamacare and things like that, but n not so much on, on this show. Patreon.com, be a part of our team. We'd like to have you. Uh, do we have maybe one or two more stories or something that we could get? Jesus <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> These things are right inside of my fucking ears. All right. yeah, I got to level everything. <laughs> when you're playing sad emotional music, it's a little softer oh. than the new stinger. What? <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's talk Greg, about... Greg, having too much sex. Headline. <laughs> <laughs> not no a such thing, by the way. Yeah, just enough. Right. Um, speaking of sex, fun. let's talk some about fun. some uh, strip clubs. Oh yeah, this is the local stuff. Yeah. The, 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 there's two strip club stories At in the, the news today. The Diamond today, Club. Have you been to the Diamond Club, Greg? Yes, you know I love those strip clubs. I, I frequent them. You went through all a the phase. Time. A phase. I never. There was uh, never a phase. Michael, here's, I, here's my I, strip listen. club story. Quickly, please. I got a lap dance, and uh, then the dancer afterwards. Don't worry, you're not my type either. <laughs> It was forced on me. The last dance was forced on me. I didn't want it. <laughs> Don't worry. You're not my type either. Wow. That How might... did she, what did oh, you what do? Did you stare at the, what did you just stare? I probably direct... just sat there and, is this over yet? Is How this old, over yet? How old is were this you? Over yet? No, 
22. All right, I just had fun. No, I, I don't really. other people watching. The person who paid for it is getting off and watching. No, it's, it's <laughs> I've had awkward. that happen to me, too. I'm not a strip club guy, but I've been there and people have paid. You, know, you just play along. For I was a, a connoisseur minutes. for a while. Yeah, you went best, to. The best slash worst strip clubs ever is Dallas, Texas. Mm-hmm. Uh, because there's it's BYOB. They don't have liquor license. <laughs> so you bring the booze, they give you the ice and the mixers, mm-hmm. and by like 9 p.m., everybody, including the strippers, are blackout drunk. Yeah. And it is the most, it is the funny, because you think a stripper is like a little bit aggressive when, like, you want to dance, baby, mm-hmm. when they're sober. And let's be honest, they're not sober in regular strip clubs. Right. right. But when they're just blatantly drinking, taking mm-hmm. shots, I mean, they're, they're hammered. They're, they're blackout drunk. Yeah. And they're just like, you and me. And then they just start dancing and it's like, I didn't say yes, but I'm taking it anyway. You, your decision right now. I got punched by a stripper. I got taken for $200 by a stripper. Same one? No, there's one girl that looked like Courtney, um, Cox? Courtney Cox, but on meth, mm-hmm. which is my type. Uh, wow. And she was like <laughs> sunken, withdrawn Courtney Cox face. Yeah. She played me for, and I knew it was happening. She goes, this, "My night sucks. I just want to go home. Look, I'll play in pool, and if you win, uh, I'll give you an hour of free lap dances. But if I win, you have to pay me three hundred dollars because that's how much I need to leave or whatever. Like she right. had to have a certain amount before her night was over. Right. And I'm pretty good at pool. I was like, all right, cool. Bitch ran the table on me. <laughs> However, a stripper hustler, shark. eight ball. She. Uh, um, scratches uh-huh. the the one uh, oh, yeah. the cue and uh, I, I win right and then she just bails on me. She's like, oh, I'll be right back, and, and then, then she leaves, yeah. never disappears. Really? And then the uh, the guy a stripper you can't trust. <laughs> I, yeah, no shit. So the I went to the the security and I was just like, hey man, like she just took like I either want the money or the dances, you know? Right. Like this is, I was pissed. Cause I was like, if I bailed on her, if I made the agreements and I wasn't going to give her her money, they'd have, they'd have beat me up and taken me or tried to beat me up right? Uh, and taken me out of there. Uh, and then I ended up losing my money. Cause so they were wait, like, you no, you had the money ahead of time. Then they made me pay her for her time. For playing oh. pool, I was like, "Oh, this is some bullshit." Well, oh, that's like the 1940s, like when you pay to dance with a girl or yeah, something. It was so it's so like, stupid. Yeah, I gotta pay you to play pool with me. That yeah. seems kind of. I've never been to a strip club that had a billiards table. <laughs> they don't. Gotta... They're huge. The strip clubs there are massive. <laughs> oh, they're like Gillies. Oh yeah, it's insane. Dicks. So this story is. Uh... Yeah, this is out of Atlanta at the Diamond Club, which is that club I think that's right next to that Waffle House that we used to always. Northside get. Drive. Yeah. Yeah. Is it uh, is it uh, mixed? Is it white people, black people? Is it because I know Never been. In, in Atlanta there are specialty clubs that oh, are yeah. mostly African American yeah. dancers, and then there's the black. Then there's you go to the what's, strippers are always the what's best. the place with the old people, fat people dancing? Oh, uh, the Claremont. 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 Yeah. You know, so there's a lot of different types, but this is, this is just your basic strip club. Sounds like it. Um, so the strippers are having they're uh, suing the club because uh, they said that they're not being paid according to the federal labor labor law. Um, the plaintiffs say that they... What does the federal labor law say a lap dance should pay? Is, well, there, yeah. <laughs> is there a standard? There's actually a kind of... It kind of uh. sounds messed up that they have to pay a house fee uh, per shift work, uh, worked, a DJ fee, 10% of tips, a manager fee, uh, VIP this is what, fees, this credit is what, card fees, late arrival and early leave fees. This is all the things that the strippers have to pay out of their tips. Oh, they sound like... Uh, so it's almost like indentured servants. Right, and they said that they're... they're um, paid as um contract workers so right. that they don't have to have a certain standard of pay right like, well that's true if you're a contractor then that's the deal you're in so are they trying right. to start a union or something i think that they're just Stripper saying union i don't know you ever waited tables you got to tip out a, a, oh. the bartender the host you got to tip out right. the runners the bus boy it's the same thing well it's like a couple except of, for you don't have to have your boobs out a couple of strippers tables. that's true and they also talked about failing to provide proper time for required lunch and rest breaks and i never really associate it with serving but that's true yeah. you work like an eight-hour shift and you're sitting for 15 minutes out Absolutely. of that entire time. Yeah, you don't want to. Except yeah. if you smoke and then you get to all go I think about, this is why yeah. I can't really Jerks. get into, because uh, when you talk about breaks and things like that, I can't get into strip clothes because I just think, okay, she's got an eight-hour shift. She might have just gone and taken a dump like an hour ago. And now I, she's, yeah. <laughs> she's, it's like she you, can't, her you period. can't stop all of your functions. See what, for what a, a, you, <laughs> Strippers should have two-hour shifts where they're completely clean and, and nothing. <laughs> but you get in there like 10 o'clock at night and between the glitter and the vermouth and the cocaine and the see what, see what, farting, <laughs> it's just terrible. What makes you not want to go to a strip club for that very same reason is why I like going to strip clubs. Oh, really? Because you like that dirty element. You like that, yeah. Nothing wrong with a little doo-doo. <laughs> Makes you stronger, right? <laughs> Makes you feel like you're alive. <laughs> he 
likes the back back door. He likes the servant center. I was really hoping Ooh. Greg was going to back me up on that, but he just let me out to dry me. on that one. Mm, yes. <laughs> hey, you're weird. You'll back me up, huh? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> it is weird how strippers will bend over and show you their butthole. Oh, you know, I know. I hate it. It's weird. It's like, but oh, your butthole. There are guys who like that. Yeah. yeah. And they, they do the thing with the dollar. Oh, if you look, oh, if you look at uh, porno, it's like They tease with the money. Not yet. No, no, no. Here's how I would tip at a strip club. Yeah, well, back far away far away. Get <laughs> that's why you have to be a little drunk. You have to be a little bit drunk to be in the strip club to enjoy it. Otherwise, you just think like, well, not everybody. So some people, I, I know people who just are just into it. Yeah, really into it. Yeah, and it's just never been my thing. I'm allergic to glitter. I think I've <laughs> pushed it down to that. It's just a weird situation. It's like uh, casinos. I don't like being in them. I don't know. There's something weird in the air. Oh, I like casinos. Me and you are complete opposites. Yeah, we are. I love casinos. Casinos are yeah. great. You get free drinks if you hang out. You play tiny slots, like the penny slots. So that you get the free drinks. On anything, that. anything can be fun if you're with good people. You yeah. know, if I've, I've been in strip clubs, I had a great time. But it was because I, the people that I was with, and we right. went there and we had fun. Um, so anything can be turned into a good time. But it's not something I would think of off the top of my head. Have you ever wanted to go just by yourself and be like, just be alone and see no. what it's like? What? Where? To a strip club? Only every time I go to a strip club. Really? <laughs> You've been that Who guy. Who goes with people? <laughs> I go with. <laughs> <laughs> No, I've, I've, I've never been to a strip club. So what do they want to uh, do? Uh, yeah. you know, I always end up leaving with someone. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 yeah, You're the one. You're the one <laughs> yeah, they love. Exactly. They fall in love with you. Um, what, so what do they want? They want all of this. Are they going to start a union? or? It doesn't say that they want to start a union. Maybe that's what will happen. I think it's like a class action lawsuit. I think a couple of strippers got really, really coked up one night and they started that conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah we should. And they should. And they should. And they have no idea that. Is it, and you know the conversation is like, well, where would they be? Where, without us without dancing, us. Where, there would be nothing. And they don't think about the fact that somebody had to break the ground and build the building and pay off the light bill and do, you know, all this other stuff that puts them in the position to make they their probably tips. Are, they probably shouldn't have to pay credit card fees and l- early leave you know what and all that stuff they don't have to be strippers right I you could th- decide they do, that's not they were way- molested uh, and what else are they gonna do <laughs> well, that's true that's a little <laughs> once that a happens little bit of a, yeah. a little bit of a commie attitude even though it's strippers put that put those same restraints no. on any anybody no, no, in I, any I, other I, workforce i do like, i do i do i do i do i do if you don't like your job I, I, quit your job and yeah you shouldn't you shouldn't have brought that up that there's no onus on the employer to have a decent work working conditions uh are there no prisons are there no work houses for the poor uh i think that you're based i think you're you have human rights you have universal human rights and those should be respected Expected. Proper but as far breaks as, but on as, a long Sure, shift. I don't. I, I, that, that's all law. That's all law. Yeah. Right, but, and so um, they're saying that they're not being. If they're if they're claiming, I, I got to believe that strippers know the law well enough to tell me that the, their bosses are not. If they're not adhering to laws that are on the books, then they've got a good case. That is part of it. You know, but my guess is that the. You know they're not they're not in law school right now, so they may find out their cases a little weak. They're paying their way through law school, and that's but why I mean, like strippers. you said, waiters have to tip out people. It's part of the whole thing. That's a good point. The question is, are they walking home with five hundred dollars after a night? You're doing pretty well. It seems a little excessive. Some of those like early leave fees, yeah. credit card. Like, well, I'm not I'm not paying a credit it's card fee because this jackass decided to put my tits on his Amex. Like, that's not my problem. Right, exactly. You know? Like, give me the money, he tipped me, right. and, I'm, and I'll well, tip well, out understand. the people that are appropriate that are helping what out. You could say, what you could say is you, you, you could say, as a club owner, no credit cards. All cash. Yeah, I mean, you could. could you could get around that, but, but that's I mean, the cost of doing business, though. Right? Why? Why am I paying? Like when I go Don't to the when I go the to the gas station and I, and I gotta pay more if I use my credit card. Like that's not like, right. I'm going to a different gas station because that's your cost of doing you just business. Did, you just did what I just said. Yeah. You're going to a different gas station. So if they don't like as working customer, at this place, as a customer, I'm not talking about right. as an employee. As an employee, we're all free agents, man. They they weren't they the government didn't assign them the stripper job that they have Can to go to. They decided to do it. But that's your profe- that's their profession. You're a professional broadcaster. That's right. And I'm doing it my best. Basement. Exactly, right. and so they you can do strip in basements. Do. There you go. What? I think we their own strip clubs strip in a basement. Right. <laughs> good to go. Um, so, I, hey, I wish these ladies the best of luck. That's right. God bless. And we uh, we have to start. Uh, you want to roll this thing into a close? Because uh, do we have one more story? Maybe quickly. We or have, we have a minute left. Uh, it's just, it's We're enough. under strict guidelines. That midday show is waiting to get in That's here. That's right. That is correct. Yeah, that guy's a jerk. I know. Uh, he's, he's the got, GM's he's got, on our tail. <laughs> he's got back-to-back songs today from all your favorite artists. I mean, they're gonna. It's not a two for Tuesday, That's but right. it's a four all Friday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Four four it's songs. About so it's four, yeah. Day. Four songs from your favorite artist all in a row, <laughs> which is great to get the Pretenders because after a third song by the Pretenders, I'm not interested in any other song. It's a weird group for me. I don't know why I brought that up. I no, there's the some good. They just don't no, play any good songs. No, they're great. On the radio. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Any three Pretender songs? Yeah. 
I'll like. Right. It's the but fourth when one. you get to the fourth one, it's just like, okay, I've had enough pretenders. Anyway, uh, how do we get to see and hear and know more about you, Autumn Fisher? You can find me on all the social medias, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Vine. That's it. And your auto prits. Auto prits. P-R-I-T-T-S. Um, Michael Albanese is in show business. I'm sure he's got things to tell us. Yeah, I uh, big man Mike on everything. And... Uh, I will be in the Preservation Pub in Knoxville, Tennessee, awesome. Sunday evening, and bright and early. I'll be back here Monday morning. Ah, yeah, uh, you made it here from Columbus. I'm telling you, I don't mess around. Yeah. This is a this is a job. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah, all of it. So uh, yeah, I'll be doing all that, and then uh, I'll be hanging out at the Improv tonight in Buckhead with the the wonderfully hilarious Nikki Glazer. So that'll be Valentine's Day. Yes. Um, if you see this during this day, or if you still want to go out. Correct. You can check all go. my dates at inmyownhead.com. I have, Greg, a, I have a, a ton of dates I just added. So really? Check well, it out. awesome. Yeah. Uh, Greg Russ, are you making love in my car again this evening? Is that going to be your uh, th- deal? <laughs> it never happened in your car. Okay. It was just it's making just foreplay. Out. Foreplay. Yes. Uh, are you appearing anywhere? No? No. Are you on any social media? No. No? Uh, no place where we there's can a, write, there's a, writing a book or something? Or something there's an abandoned know? Twitter account out there. Okay. Go look for it. What's it look like? What's it, what's it say? At Greg Russ? Uh... At Robot Boy, or what phase were you in when you opened up that Twitter account? I think it's at I Like Pretzels. There you go. But it's all about sandwiches. <laughs> well, fine. So Specialty. Yeah. Nothing if you, wrong if with you want to see tweets from 2010 about sandwiches. Nostalgic tweets. Yeah, so you can find yeah. me <laughs> on Twitter. In the beginning. <laughs> um, we can be found, all of our stuff. You go to ericvonradio.com, and you will get all the links to every place else you can see us. Live 365, you can hear us. That stream goes all day long, 24 hours a day. And it will soon be populated with other shows. Starting today at noon, that other show with EVH. As I said, we don't really have the phone thing worked out. It's going to be more like a talk show deal and with phoners and things like that. But we're going to allow, if you would like to, be a part of it, or if you can't be there at noon, just shoot uh, any question about politics, culture, the world, that sort of talk radio kind of stuff. Any gender issues? Any gender have? issues? <laughs> any? We'll bend the gender issues um, and on any of our platforms. Or just join us at noon for that other show with EVH. Until then, this is EVH. We'll see you, to, we'll see you Monday.